so yeah, so you're you're right now you're that's what you're currently doing. You're a registered yeah. massage therapist, and you do this at home, right? Um, yeah. Well, I work one day from home a week, and then I'm in a clinic Monday, okay. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So, it, which is really nice because I'm working with people. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I went to school in 2019. I started, uh, okay. which was a career change. We moved back from Australia, um, and I wanted to be in the healthcare sector because I had a brain tumor that was undiagnosed for 10 years, and oh, wow. yeah, in Australia, it saved my life, mm -hmm. and then coming back I was like I want to change the whole world <laughs> yeah. but yeah and realize like I'm just one person but all, if all of us can like do our part then mm. that's nice yeah and went back to school and honestly like I didn't even know what massage was going to be like and uh, but with the program you get two years towards TRU University for health sciences so I was like oh it's a good starting point mm. but um, now I'm in the career it's like it's game changing. Like, it, I just have realized how health is so based upon like the mind and body working together, and mm -hmm. and how much potential people have to heal themselves. And it's just about like educating and knowing what's happening in your body and bringing awareness to it, and and in the mind, mm -hmm. and just connecting those things. So I feel really lucky every time I go to work, mm -hmm. and honored to be on healing journeys and holding space for people in such a, a beautiful way. Yeah. Yeah. So how did you, so it came from what happened to you that you decided to get more into the health uh, space. What were yeah. you doing before this? So this was, you did a reconversion 2019, in 2019 you, that you started. Mm -hmm. Before this, uh, what were you doing? Um, I did photography for, I had, uh, yeah, I sort of was trained up in Revelstoke a while ago, 2009, and worked with a photographer there and then helped him with his studio for a while and then ended up um, having a home-based business for mm -hmm. a while, which I loved. Um, what type of, of photography were you doing? No, Weddings okay. or... I did, well, it was in a small town, so yeah. I was doing everything. You can't specialize it. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't specialize as much. I'm yeah. sure that you could. But um, I did weddings were my favorite. And oh, yeah. I was with the fire department and did some of their events and headshots <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Odin. Yeah, we'll see if he settles good, down. Yeah. Um, yeah, and kind of everything, baby mm. shoots. And then uh, we ended up selling everything because I got really sick in Revelstoke. Mm. And so we sold our house and everything and moved to Australia, which mm. was awesome, really, because mm -hmm. we had two kids um, and lived three blocks from the beach. And mm. so I was a stay-at-home mom for a while yeah. and then went back to work doing, um, like, some marketing for a farm mm. in Australia and using my oh, photography okay. there. Yeah. And learned a lot in that job too mm -hmm. on computers. Yeah. <laughs> and I was How like, was oh. that like adapting uh, your job to another country? Uh, it was smooth. It was yeah. good. Yeah, I learned a lot in that role. Mm -hmm. And with photography, you can take it anywhere. Yeah. So, True. yeah, and people are people. Mm -hmm. So it's a really, like, I love working with people. That's the part yeah. I like. But um, yeah, and I just don't love being on technology. Mm -hmm. So, I, I like taking the photos, but then... Not the editing part. Definitely like, not. Yeah. Uh, technological <laughs> issues are like, yeah. I want to toss the computer out the window, yeah. you know? So I try to deep, take deep breaths, but I'm mm -hmm. just like accepting that that's not my forte. Yeah. But now you can yeah. work with people and just, right? Like you can work in team and just take the photos and give, yeah, give yeah. The, the editing too. Because there's some people, mm -hmm. if they could, they would never go out, take the photos. They like just editing the stuff. Yeah, which blows so, like, my mind. That goes, that goes well <laughs> with the people like you that just want to take. and the, Yeah, and the, the, it's just a matter of finding of the right people, yeah. right? And yeah. yeah, so who knows what'll happen, life mm -hmm. kind of leads you in different directions but I yeah. love I love massage therapy and it's really my passion mm -hmm. and every time I go to work it like lights me up and fulfills me so yeah. I can't imagine any anything better at this point but I know that things shift and change yeah. so yeah so we'll get definitely back into why you like that and, and stuff like that I just want to try to keep, keep the the timeline a little bit to understand the, the process yeah. and so you were in Australia mm -hmm. Uh, what made you guys come back here was the, yeah. the thing you, you, you talked about? Um, well, 
we both knew that Australia would be short term. Mm -hmm. I mean, we had made that decision earlier. Yeah. Um, and my, it's a long way from home. Mm -hmm. I love Australia, but Canada is also great. And mm -hmm. just raising kids, I wanted to raise them in Canada and my, my ex-husband now. Um, he also loves Canada mm -hmm. and loves the skiing and all that. So yeah. yeah, we decided to move back and then we separated when we got back. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's it's been, it's a big move moving internationally, but it's nice yeah. to be back in Canada. I love both places though. There's mm -hmm. always pros and cons everywhere. What, what did you, what was like the best part of, uh, of Australia from, from coming from Aww. Canada? there was it more like the just the, like the the beach side and the the warmer weather or yeah, yeah. and surfing and they surfing, have yeah. yeah they have like barbecues at the beach where you mm -hmm. go down and you can just cook eggs and go out for a surf and it's just an easy life and mm -hmm. raising kids on the beach you don't ever have to put clothes on them or shoes if you don't want to oh, and yeah, it's like see, normal yeah. mm -hmm. so you, it's not as much yeah. work as like the snow suits yeah. and everything and i love the people too mm -hmm. like it's they have great senses of humor mm -hmm. and just it's really social and mm -hmm. yeah it was just a good time and the weather like i mm -hmm. noticed coming back to canada that cold hurts after not feeling it mm -hmm. and then i had to like reacclimatize to that right. and now it doesn't but it's funny how your perspective changes mm -hmm. when you're like removed from a situ situation yeah. for a while totally. yeah and probably more sun also like sun oh, probably yeah. more sunlight so you yeah so mood regulation i've noticed definitely there's like flows ebbs and mm -hmm. flows in canada in general like a collective yeah. where people struggle more at different times of the season and myself as well like february i've noticed i just have to accept that that month is like up and down and all over the place because yeah. you're like oh a little taste of spring let's get some sunshine <laughs> yeah. and then it's like just kidding you get to freeze yeah. your hands the next day and yeah. so yeah but it's sort of like that, like give it, take it away thing. Mm -hmm. But I think the more I lean into just accepting that there's those ebbs and flows, the easier yeah. it is to just be like, okay, I don't have to be anything. Mm -hmm. I can just kind of be and know that it's just for today. So, yeah. Right. Cool. Um, and so, yeah, we'll definitely lack sun here in the, the winter. Like I was thinking about that. Like yeah. there's a weeks can go by where you, you, you you don't have any direct uh, sunlight on you uh, and yeah. that, that can be that's pretty bad <laughs> it is it's such yeah. a strange feeling mm -hmm. it's like we need to hibernate do you get affected by it do you think I I, I I I feel different when I don't when I can't have like my like five ten minutes uh, mm -hmm. it, whether it is like just a little a little space between two clouds like when when i see like there's especially in the winter yeah. when I, when I work a lot in in inside mm -hmm. uh, when i see like a little bit of sun <laughs> goes through, i try sometimes i just like stand in the the patio that we have like yeah. the, just the terrace and just stand like five minutes <laughs> with the sun like that's what i was doing here when i just Wait, arrived I was, getting, like, I was just like getting like the when you have like because sometimes there's just a five minute or yeah. three minute window where you have like that sunlight that's coming yeah. up like ah, give me, give you're it to like me. a cat you're yeah. like basking oh, yeah, in yeah. the sunshine oh, yeah. like desserts and stuff yeah, <laughs> yeah. you have to um, appreciate it though when you oh, got yeah. it hey yeah no totally yeah. um so and so uh you so you did you get back because of the so you had what a brain tumor That's yeah i had a brain tumor it was um in my cerebellum mm -hmm. so i had and it was slow growing so it was like it kind of crept up in life and you discovered um, that sorry to cut you you, you yeah, discovered no, okay. that uh there or yeah before, when you were in australia when i was okay. in australia okay. i got my bridging visa because mm -hmm. i applied for residency there mm -hmm. um and then I was able to go to the doctor and the first doctor I saw was like, oh, you have a brain tumor. Oh, we shit. need to get you in for an MRI. <laughs> and oh, I was wow. like, yeah. So I was mm. like, yeah, I've, I've been thinking there was something up mm. for a little, like a while. Mm. Um, and then I had an MRI in an hour and then two hours later was with a neurosurgeon. And then a few months later, I ha had them take it out. So and mm. then it was it was a big recovery, especially with little kids. Mm. Um, but it was like Christmas every day. Because I got a part of myself back that I, I forgot I'd lost. So 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 there's several th so several things that I'm curious about. Yeah. Like, so first of all, when 
when they told you this mm. was was were there was there any like threat for your life at that time in that thing or was it like how did yeah. you get it how did they tell you um, um yeah that's a good question they said i had six months to live okay well yeah yeah so like that's yeah that's so, something that's like okay yeah, yeah yeah so i'm really lucky with the mm -hmm. timing of everything like you in your life or in our life like we had the life that we wanted we mm -hmm. had a house in a mountain town a dog two cats that we rehomed a triple wide lot we grew our own food and everything had mm -hmm. great community and like we we needed to give it up but moving to australia it saved my life like mm, like if yeah. that doesn't happen then mm -hmm. i wouldn't be here and and too i wouldn't have the perspective that i have now as well so yeah but when they told me they said six months and i mean who knows really mm -hmm. odin quiet good boy um yeah so who knows like i, I don't know how they yeah. guessed that but yeah so that was pretty full on But I was relieved mm -hmm. because I'd felt sick for a long time and didn't know why. Mm -hmm. And it was impairing my ability to function in life. Mm -hmm. And so when I found out, I was like, oh, thank, kind of like, thank mm -hmm. God. But then telling other people was, was challenging for sure. And no one understood why I was like yeah. happy to mm -hmm. find something. Obviously, yeah. I was scared. Mm -hmm. But I was relieved more so yeah. and, and hopeful that I'd, I'd get my life back and myself back so and this was 2018 um no this was before, uh, I, I, my timeline's foggy from back I, then i, I guess think it was 2015 oh, okay okay yeah 2015 okay, yeah, yeah okay. it was 2015 okay. was when i was diagnosed and had it out okay yeah and then so and then you got it out here when you no come. it no, was in there. australia okay, okay. Yeah. yeah yeah at a teaching wow. hospital yeah, yeah. and That's they played crazy. tragically hip in the um theater oh, before yeah. i went in and, yeah. I, and i'm from kingston ontario mm -hmm. <laughs> and i was like this is kind of cool and they were all like excited and stuff i don't get the reference <laughs> oh tragically no. hip is a canadian oh, okay. band from kingston oh, okay yeah, yeah no, ontario right, and i yeah. grew up there okay. but i was in australia oh okay and then they did it for you on purpose or i don't know oh, okay. i still don't know <laughs> <That's funny. Yeah. laughs> but they were That's all funny. like excited yeah. about the surgery Interesting. oh really yeah it was wow. really cool and mm. like singing and stuff and <laughs> so it made me yeah. feel better but yeah That's i thought crazy. that was kind of neat yeah Yeah. And how is the system? Did you have to like they could they they took you in like that or was, oh, it, was it so like, good? Yeah, okay, like mm -hmm. without even even just not like not being a a citizen or anything. Yeah, yeah. 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 On the bridging mm -hmm. visa, they allow you to access the healthcare. Mm -hmm. Um, because yeah. my has my ex husband was sponsoring me, so mm -hmm. yeah, I was able to go into the doctor and it, everything. I had to pay for the MRIs. They have partially private, partially government funded healthcare system and mm -hmm. so you have a lot of choice which is really nice um because i was able to just get in right away for an mri mm -hmm. if i wanted to so we were out of pocket probably like 10 grand but they covered over fifty yeah. thousand dollars so i'm really grateful for that mm -hmm. in a big way um and it was quick and they were very supportive and it was really positive so yeah, yeah. so coming back i just wanted i mean being in in your body and experiencing those things i have a like a, i can kind of spot different things and i'm i ha yeah i feel things in my body in a big way because mm -hmm. i think i was like hyper aware of it yeah. so I, yeah i just want to support as many people as i can and mm -hmm. advocate for them and like in whatever way it doesn't have to be in a big way but even like in my work find other people who can mm -hmm. support them and there's such a great web of people who really truly care about people's health and preventative health and um yeah that yeah. that we can kind of work together and and hopefully get people mm -hmm. more in their bodies and really yeah. listening to themselves because everyone's so intuitive and a lot of times people will come into my office and be like i think it's this and then i'll, I'll be like well let's let's see and mm -hmm. they like but they second guess themselves mm -hmm. and it's like a lot of times they're right yeah. so yeah it's pretty neat yeah Yeah, does that answer your question? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. totally. Um, yeah, I was thinking about what you you're just saying. It's and it's something that like we kind of we kind of we lose because we're we're educated by looking outside 
mm-hmm. or like answer and yeah. guidance and everything. Whereas there's a lot of things that we can figure out just by by tuning in, like you're mm-hmm. like you were saying. And every like kind of pain and things, it's just like literally just your body telling you something. Um, and very often, like just by intuition, we we can we can s- feel that there's something wrong and like mm-hmm. some sorts of of, of pains uh, that we have that we can um, that we can really if we just like listen to it mm-hmm. and then try to 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 do things ab- about it. Yeah. Um, it's always, uh, but you have to already like tune in, and which is mm-hmm. something that we kind of like losing a little yeah bit. yeah but there's a big numbing to the to your body that's been happening and just mm-hmm. bringing bringing people back into that i think yeah. is and bringing that awareness too because awareness mm-hmm. is i think awareness is just the cornerstone to any sort of healing mm-hmm. like once you bring your focus in on anything and start noticing it then natural change starts to happen because either you like like it mm-hmm. or you're like that's super annoying <laughs> and then you, mm-hmm. eventually like if it keeps niggling at you you're gonna yeah. change something right mm-hmm. yeah totally like you mean like things that are chronic and then i come back or yeah anything yeah, yeah like yeah chronic or even like if you have something in your body that's hurting mm-hmm. you can if you take care of it right away then it doesn't become yeah. or there's less of a chance of it yeah. becoming chronic right so mm-hmm. instead of just being like oh it'll be fine mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> you yeah. know like and then it stacks with like all the things and then yeah and then yeah. it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse like nip it in the bud and figure out what it is and then do as much as you can and sometimes there's sometimes you don't know but yeah a lot of the time there you do mm-hmm. and there are things you can do i, I think yeah. i don't know what have you experienced no, totally. in your own body that way um and and in what yeah in what you're saying um that fixing things right away because then then it impacts other area. And yeah. uh, I'm saying this in my own experience, I've had like for a, a long time, uh, my left hip that was not completely, uh, that was like just like partially dislocated for some yeah, reason. Wow. And when I was for, for years, when I was from like 12 years old up to like 15, 16, every time i would stay seated so in, yeah. in classrooms and stuff I would stay seated for like more than like an hour yeah like when i would get up i would have like intense pain and i couldn't figure out what is in it and yeah. i i went through a lot of different kairos and different things that like nobody could could ever yeah. find what it was and then one day a guy looked at me and i was uh, when i was uh, on my back and then on my back, my legs, so this is, these are my foot. And yeah. then my, legs, my, my left leg was like that. And he was, yeah. was like, oh, there's a problem here. Yeah. And then I was like, what, <laughs> what it is? <laughs> and then he put me on the side. And he was like, Kah! And then I was like, oh. And uh, oh from God. this day, like, it's, it started, it solved the, 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 the big part of the problem. Yeah. And then I had, like, stretching and things to do to, to come back. Because naturally, yeah. my left uh, hip is way more open than my, my right one. Yeah. And then it solved the problem. But th- no this way. to say that, like, this was, I found this because then uh, it created problem on my right side on my lower back when yeah. i started to like lift weights and stuff like that yeah. doing deadlift very often i would like get my right uh, right sides or right lumbars like uh, yeah. really numbed and painful yeah. and then this came from yeah. uh, something else so like sometimes and from a uh, an ankle that gets to your knees and then to your eaves and then to mm-hmm. and so this is why yeah it's important once you have something like to try to fix it because then yeah. it can have like repercussions and 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 gets into other impacts, other other areas, and, and stuff like that. For oh, sure. totally. Yeah, because um, you start overcompensating. Yeah. And then you felt that, and it can like zigzag up the whole body. Mm-hmm. Did you find that it affected your your mental state, having the pain in your body and that limitation? Hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. Because then you're conscious about it, and then you're like, you limit, even if it's not necessarily conscious, but you 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 have a pain, so you're gonna limit yeah. the impact you're gonna have, or you're gonna try to compensate, and and uh, yeah. yeah when you know that like you're kind of kind of not hurt but kind of uh, injured or you come yeah. back from an injury and you're like oh i'm gonna go yeah. so on my knees but so yeah it, it totally impacts you but um yeah it's it's something that because it's your your vessel right it's like mm-hmm. the thing that makes you do anything and if you're yeah. if you don't fix your 
first your physical progress you have to fix your, yeah. your mental stuff as well but like the the physical yeah it's pretty much the yeah the first thing how did you so was it like that thing that that sparked the the will to to work in in helping others uh mm. more on the the massage uh, part or oh um, yeah was it from that experience or did you have like even no because you said you said you you enjoyed um working with people yeah i mean um, i i love people mm -hmm. i do i think it, i think people are my passion in life mm -hmm. and um yeah i just find everyone really interesting and everyone has something to to give like a different perspective yeah. and um it feels really great empowering people to find their own solutions and mm -hmm. then also explaining what's happening and being able to like help them along. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I think my whole life sort of led to that point and I didn't really even realize it until I started into the schooling. Mm -hmm. And then once I got into the schooling and really understanding the depth of human anatomy and the connection between mind and body mm -hmm. and how it's not separate, mm -hmm. it can't be. Because yeah. it's all it's it speaks to one another. Mm -hmm. It's like that positive feedback loop. Like you're yeah. stressed up here, and your body's like, mm -hmm. and it's like, yeah, I'm stressed. And mm -hmm. then it's, your mind's like, yeah, I am. And then sends signaling, and your body's like, yep. Yeah. But if you can break one or the other, like with massage, it's great because you can be like, okay, let's bring the nervous system down, and it breaks mm -hmm. that cycle. Um, so the more I learned, it was like the missing link for me because as a mm -hmm. kid, I I was quite introverted I guess like mm -hmm. I was social but I just kept a lot to myself and then um but I studied human anatomy and art um mm -hmm. I did life drawing and then went into photography which is mm -hmm. people based and studying humans and then once I got into school um and through my own experience too just being in my body I was like this is just <laughs> this is just amazing mm -hmm. and everyone like it would be so amazing if everyone knew their bodies to that extent mm -hmm. and understood what's happening in their body to that yeah. level. Cause it's, I've never been physically, I've never been healthier really. And, but yeah. it's taken work and understanding and, you know, yeah, to get totally. there. Yeah. No, that makes total sense. For, for me, it was the, um, the, when I discovered the uh, neuroscience, when I was doing the studies for coaching in France, yeah, um, it explained so much things about like human behavior and just how, and how you feel about things and why by doing this it makes you feel this and like yeah. it's just like it was kind of um, not a boomer but like it, it kind of removed a little bit like uh, not the, the the magic in life but just how mm. I, I I was uh, prior to that like I had no real idea I thought there was still some kind of Mister mysterious things about like oh that person is is that's a very motivated person or driven person or, yeah. or or this person is depressed and things like that and we can explain a lot of things by just analyzing what's happening in, in the brain and, mm -hmm. and but by like thoughts or actions can direct impact if you're gonna feel good or yeah. bad and motivated yeah. and like the whole the hormonal system that we have that's gonna Uh, drive a certain behavior and things it's like it's very it's like it's almost like a life hack to like know mm -hmm. these things and how it, it impacts you yeah and then have a list of things that like the sleep the sun the exercising the mm -hmm. meditation or like things that are literally we can literally uh, like check box of list to just like yeah start in with the base of like feeling good totally and, yeah uh, and even the pe like the people around you as well Impact yeah oh any, yeah yeah oh, 100 percent. Yeah, yeah any input i think in your no, life for sure yeah when you're saying that i think of like the great and powerful oz yeah. like it, it, you pull back the curtain and like the great and powerful all oz and you see these people doing these amazing things and you're mm -hmm. like oh my gosh i can look at them doing those motivated things like mm -hmm. you were saying but then when you pull back the curtain we're all just like sitting there trying to work out the, <laughs> yeah. the software and we're yeah. like how can we but like at the essence of it we mm -hmm. all have the ability to like be the great and powerful as i believe mm -hmm. and it's just like yeah to, having those skills and that that framework to be able yeah. to work from and figuring out what that is for yourself because everyone's so 100%. different oh yeah that's what makes the 
the puzzle work right like yeah the full puzzle can't work if we have like different pieces uh, if we have like all the same pieces it yeah. works because we have div different everybody's bringing a different mm -hmm. inside perspective uh, yeah different impact a different way to see things yeah how did you just to get back a second on getting into a career that like fits the most what you were that mm -hmm. is the most let's say aligned mm -hmm. to what you what you what you were saying like your passion is how did you did you was it like any complicated for you to make that decision or of getting into this or was it just like the most obvious things to do at that point why did you why were not you into this before that yeah. like how is it linked to what happened to you and that made you face and like if somebody told you like hey you you might have like six months uh mm. to live was it any link to that sense of not necessarily urgency but like mm. reality check of okay like uh, what am i doing with my time my life and yeah. maybe i need to recenter on on things that are important for me like how, how was like um, that process for you of like yeah. changing and getting into something new and and facing that oh i want to get into something that's more aligned to yeah what i want to do and stuff like that that's a that's a great <laughs> question because that that really is the piece of the puzzle that mm -hmm. like put me in alignment with my true self because mm -hmm. it's not just i mean you, your work is a big part of your life it's yeah. where you spend most of your time mm -hmm. um and even though i loved photography it wasn't as fulfilling mm -hmm. it wasn't that like you get to the end of friday and you feel as good as you did mm -hmm. at the beginning of yeah. the week you know and you're like <sighs> like i get like <laughs> yeah. this satisfaction out yeah. of it um yeah if if i didn't have that experience then i wouldn't have had the perspective of mm -hmm. of uh not having the full ability in my life like mm -hmm. i i was i'm very blessed in the in my abilities in life and i'm really grateful for that mm -hmm. um and you know I always say I kind of peaked early, but like there's peaks and valleys. Mm -hmm. You don't peak early. Yeah. Just, the life just happens at yeah. the right time. But if I didn't have to lose, lose all of that, then I wouldn't have gained the perspective mm -hmm. and the wisdom and yeah. the empathy. And I mean, I was always an empathetic person, but it's different when you've mm -hmm. gone through something and you, your life is, is kind of resting at a point where you're mm. not sure if it's if you can continue or like uh, am i going to wake up as a different person mm -hmm. was scarier than dying through the surgery yeah. am i going to be functional i was like you know those thoughts go through your head um so once you experience that seeing yeah I, it totally changed the trajectory of my mm -hmm. whole life really because i wanted to be there in a way to support people to point them in to listen actually yeah. in a way that gives them a voice and empower them to speak up for themselves, to trust in themselves and to move in a direction that feels true to them until mm -hmm. they find a solution. Cause I just don't, I, I, I believe that there's a solution, yeah. <laughs> you know, when, mm -hmm. if you feel that something is wrong in your body, um, whether it be mind or body, there's your body wants to operate effectively like homeostasis it's always trying mm -hmm. to get back to optimal function mm -hmm. and if you feel it's outside of that some there's some imbalance somewhere so um yeah i'm i want to take kind of my my stubbornness and my like you know and i, I was mm -hmm. like not gonna quit mm -hmm. and find a solution and be, like you have to believe in yourself mm -hmm. and not settle yeah. for no mm -hmm. <laughs> and keep going and find another opinion and and i'd love to be like i just had a burning desire to be someone who will listen and help people understand their bodies and calm them down and be like okay let's so i'll support you through this process whether or not like you know everyone has their part mm -hmm. to play so i don't have to f no one's going to fix you like you know but you can mm -hmm. heal in different directions and i yeah it made me really want 
to go down that route. At first, I wanted to like go back to school to become a doctor and a surgeon and like mm-hmm. all those things. But like, I don't want to do that. There's mm-hmm. amazing, talented, brilliant doctors and surgeons out there that are doing an amazing job and saving mm-hmm. lives. And I wouldn't be here if if they didn't exist. Um, but I, I can be one little part of the puzzle that starts to navigate through a system that can be challenging because oh. everyone's so different. Mm-hmm. And yeah, um, but it's it's really fulfilling when you start to see people growing and mm-hmm. finding their truth and f- trusting in themselves rather than trying to like just take what other people are saying as gospel because we're all human. Mm-hmm. So like everyone's going to miss things at times. I will as an RMT, mm-hmm. doctors will, surgeons will, no one's God mm-hmm. or the universe or the almighty, you know, mm-hmm. but we can like, I think too, just being humble enough to recognize that and, and then say, well, I don't know, but this is what my idea is. What if we try this and like mm-hmm. support people through that and empower them? Yeah. Like we've all got it in us to do it. Mm-hmm. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And like, it's funny you're saying uh, empowerment because it's been proven that it's the best way to to motivate uh, people. It, it's it's a lot by empowering mm-hmm. them mm-hmm. and not like... Because, I mean, there's, there's different school, right? And like some people are motivating other by just like yelling at them or like, mm-hmm. but, but there's, there's different tools that can work. But like one of the, the, the best is like make people understanding how actually like powerful you can be and, yeah. and strong in that. Like you said that there, we, we have body that they want, they want to actively get back to homeostasis. Like you said, yeah. and they want to be like at the normal state. Like they, they mm-hmm. want that. Yeah. So we are it's it's just like having people realizing like how much they're they're capable and sometimes like you say you, you just need like a little a little help here and there mm-hmm. and that's going to start that spiral because everything work work uh, mm-hmm. i i think with with a spiral yeah like it, yeah. it's like things that i've seen Definitely. a lot with the uh, crossfit um and not that i want to talk about crossfit but <laughs> it's like things I've, I've seen a lot let's let's yeah. not say crossfit but the with people that get suddenly into uh, physical activity Mm -hmm. uh, and we know that it's a pillar for for health and mental health like an absolute pillar like um, exercising right like any sort of like moving your body because we're made literally made for that yeah Uh, and i've seen people come in and and from all ages and not just in canada in france as well they come in low Mm -hmm. self-esteem low confidence and with the span of some working and and um, consistency for the span of like not even like six months to a year be Mm -hmm. a complete different person and then change their career Mm -hmm. change work change their their relationship with people change everything everything and 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 so it's like it's so often it's often this like a little spark of something and that can be you that's going to do something with like an interaction. We're always like one interaction away that like suddenly, yeah. okay, you realize something and then you start doing something that starts doing something else. Yeah. And, then, uh, and then like in a year, you're like, boom, you're back on track on yeah. things. And you're not that you were like kind of lost, but it, it can, we, we have no idea how just like a little things can, can have such a, at the, in the end, in the big picture, big impact. Oh, totally. Um, yeah. And that point right there is, I think, so key, Mm -hmm. is just understanding those little things that you change here. Consistency, in the end, grow into Mm -hmm. something and into big change, right? And yeah, and those aha moments, like Mm -hmm. what you're talking about, like that little little bit here that ends up moving to something else Mm -hmm. here. When you start adding things to life, Mm life starts adding back Mm -hmm. and then it just keeps growing and then you might take like three steps back and Mm -hmm. fall and fail whatever you fail yeah get back up again and keep adding Mm -hmm. where i that's something like i think has made a huge difference in my life and being patient like Mm -hmm. the brick a day makes a shed in the year Mm -hmm. someone told me that once and i was like i gotta be more patient Mm -hmm. it's not all gonna happen (laughs) right now (laughs) yeah yeah. it's a good virtue to have yeah 
yeah practice yeah. like mm-hmm. it all adds up but and I think too um a lot of people try to take a lot away they're like I gotta I gotta quit this or like I gotta stop this I gotta diet and restrict all of this and it's like what if you just add a passion instead of starting with restricting what if you just what what do you love to do Mm -hmm. one thing so go and do it and then from there that time invested you're gonna notice start noticing things and you'll like be like oh i really love this be consistent at one thing for three months that's it Mm -hmm. and then from there it'll be like oh well i could be better at this if I, you know, ate a little better, Mm -hmm. then it's motivation to add healthier food into your life, add more sleep into your life, add like this Mm -hmm. whole like self-deprecating, torturous, like Mm -hmm. path to betterment. Mm -hmm. Life is going to torture you enough. Like there is suffering in life Mm -hmm. and that's okay. You Mm -hmm. can't have the good without the bad. Like Mm -hmm. it's about embrace for me, I think. Yeah, really that's, that's been right. my place of peace is embracing that mm-hmm. as a beautiful part of life mm-hmm. and yeah. we get to experience it all is as long as you allow it but yeah that addition point like i was yeah. picturing that when you were saying that mm-hmm. the growth and it is it's all spirals yeah no totally yeah it, and and it's um I, I i prefer also to see things because like to rebound on the things you see i prefer to see things with um a top down point of view and yeah. not like we picture things on a graph yeah and like see your life or like there's ups and down and then we want to we yeah. have that vision that like we're, we're going up yeah but the thing to me it's always uh we're not like we're not it's not i've, I've been saying this to like several people <laughs> where it's not at the end where nobody's gonna give you a medal because you <laughs> play it the most safe or, like, or because you, mm-hmm. you you like stack the things you were supposed to do and then because we have that like that idea of like oh I grow and I, I get up 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 and yeah. then no then, then nothing mm-hmm. I mean nothing uh, it, it, then it's not it's not how you should see things yeah. because then when when you take a step back on things and you you feel like you, you're going down that's mm-hmm. why I always like a picture of things like from a top down view and, and we're a spiral yeah. and, and we're getting up yeah through a spiral but that just <laughs> but then when you look at it from that that thing yeah you're going in circle because yeah. everything is cycles absolutely and you but don't you, see you it. should be climbing up yeah so exactly. you can come to the same lesson but you've leveled up a little yeah yeah but at least when you you look at it yeah. you don't see that you're behind or forward you're just right yeah. on time because we, when you look yeah. at it from the top you know you're just in a circle yeah um and, and, and you don't know when you're gonna reach exactly yeah yeah because it's always because <laughs> there's so much um there's so much and it's like part of the things that i said in another video where there's so much about we're rigged to think that this ah, this was a failure this was a success this was good Mm -hmm. this was bad while yes there are things that we know this is going to be bad for your health this Mm -hmm. is going to be there's things that yeah you you can't say um like by example you can have doing something that yes we can say now like scientifically that this is detrimental for your body or for yeah. this or that. But deeper than this, it, because we're, we're gonna, we're doomed to make mistakes. We, we're oh. doomed to make things that we categorize as bad. Yeah. And if we don't, we get crazy because it doesn't exist somebody that made no mistake and just went through mm-hmm. life and it's yeah. perfect. Even if we try and we try to show that <laughs> yeah. image. Um, and me the first have been like that. And, yeah. and it's by doing these things that you you realize like okay i'm just human and this was just like an experience and mm. yes i know it was bad but at least i i yeah. know it and yeah. when there's like it, it's always like when there's through experience there's real life experience and mm. with the feelings and the emotions that are attached to that experience yeah. this is how you, you learn this is why i'm, I'm a firm believer that is, the best way to learn things it's through life experiences Absolutely. you can get knowledge everywhere and that's awesome mm-hmm. but the knowledge that like that hits you yeah. is when you learned it by a real life experience yeah. not not because somebody told you or you read it or like you yeah. heard about it once you went through the things really for you and mm-hmm. you were by yourself experiencing it and you felt that what is it, is it low or up? Mm-hmm. Where is it like a down or, or up? Like you, 
And you're like, okay, now shit, like I know yeah. I shouldn't do this because of that. I know that I will never do this again. I'll yeah. know this and that. Yeah. But you had to do it to know it. You have to do it to know it. Yeah. And to gain that lesson, but you have to be willing to look at it, mm-hmm. which is really hard for yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For everybody. Mm-hmm. I was going to say for a lot of people, but it is hard yeah. to look at it and be like, you know what? I made this decision with all good intentions. I really didn't see that mm. until I messed it up completely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then yeah. it's like, okay, so we've got this situation yeah. now. I can either dwell in it or I can move through it and process mm. it and feel all the things, and but move through it and choose to find the opportunity and the lesson and choose to try to do better next time. Because sometimes you think, I'll never do that again. And, and you redo it. <laughs> you do it again. And yeah. then you're like, I knew this lesson. Yeah. But it's that spiral. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, this lesson again. And it smacks mm-hmm. you on the way by and you're like, no, I'm gonna do better. But mm-hmm. it's it's finding I think that I think that brings resilience, being able mm-hmm. to find the opportunity in dark situations. Yeah. Um because it is hard to go through tough times and mm-hmm. scary things and challenges. And when life feels like there's wolves at your ankles, mm-hmm. just nipping at them until you like walk through this little door mm-hmm. <laughs> into like the light. Yeah. But you know, it, I think the more you look at those situations and sit with yourself and go, okay, really though, what is, what do I need to get out of this? Mm-hmm. And how can I use this in life to, to better myself? better the people around me and potentially make an impact on the next generation or like, who knows, you know, you can have grandiose ideas, but I, I I do think that if everyone thought that they can make an impact though, if you truly believe that Mm -hmm. and you start holding yourself accountable for those things to the best of your ability, then the world would change. And, and I don't know if that's just idealistic. No, but, no it, it's, it's, but it comes back to what we said before of that thing of like sometimes just a little interaction with somebody mm-hmm. is going to create an idea or something and, yeah. and, and, and then it's going to, it's the domino effect of things. So mm-hmm. we all, we, we all can. And I think deeper than that, we all do all the time without even knowing. Yeah. There's, there's this things we do and we interaction we have with other people, whether it is in good, but also in bad, yeah. we can affect negatively people. Absolutely. Um, we, we're way more, everybody's way more connected and, and we're way more influencing mm-hmm. all the time. And this is why it's important to, yeah, like to work together because we're yeah. always, we're all together yeah. and working together whether you want it or not whether you are conscious of it or not mm-hmm. whatever it's like whatever you think about it this is how it works until yeah. unless you live by yourself um in a house in alaska away yeah. away from everybody and you yeah. just like you're self-sufficient you know? mm-hmm. but then other than this if you live in any kind of like society we're a social spe- species yeah. like we we're mm-hmm. we're interact which which with each other so Absolutely. Like we will always influence, um, influence the people around us. Yeah, sure. and, and that sort of, I mean, was accentuated when we had the separation and isolation over the last few oh, years, yeah. you know, and yeah. and there were more mental health issues, addiction, oh, yeah. drugs, and without that community and support mm-hmm. and feeling like you're a part of a greater collective mentality, I think it was, well, I don't think I know that mm-hmm. it was, uh, it made people struggle yeah or people did struggle through it and but yeah bringing it back to that connection piece and your interactions like you said every day like if you bring intention to the interactions you have um and try to add to everyone's life in Mm -hmm. some way then then that allows everyone to grow and then create and and you know support each other Mm -hmm. because it we're really i don't know i can't do it alone I don't want to. I mean, you we can. can. We can't. We can't. Do, yeah. do what alone, you mean? Life. We absolutely can't. Like, you can't. Yeah. You couldn't do anything by yourself. No. Yeah, like in your video yeah. that you did. It's like, it's yeah. like you couldn't do anything 
no. it's like we couldn't be here talking into these things like yeah. realizing this to the most I, i know i'm pushing it to the extreme but, but it, like it's the reality it accentuates it though yeah it's it is the reality. reality like Yeah, we're all touching we're each other's lives. We're using things that all the people did all the time. Yeah. Where, where you were into a system that's been mm -hmm. created. Where we're, we're just by just living, we're mm -hmm. using things that other people have been doing and, and, and totally. things like that. So like mm -hmm. by ourselves, we couldn't do anything. No. And realizing this, it's it's really important because it makes you understand. Well, first of all, mm -hmm. the the necessity for living together because it, yeah. it, there's no other way. Yeah. There's no other way than like accept that there's like living together. And this is yeah. why, um, uh, you know, we were, I don't know if we were talking about that before or, or but like be part of the solution. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. It's important. No. Yeah. You were saying something. Uh, oh, taking the people out of the problem. And if and everyone the, focused on here's the problem. Yeah. And then yeah. let's find the solution. Yeah, exactly. Because, because what is the, because there's no alternative for, If you want, if you want like the the bright side of things, mm -hmm. uh, if you want to reach like, and you f if you want to be good, uh, there's no alternative to mm -hmm. at least have um, a solution-driven behavior and approach to pretty much anything. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, because like otherwise you'll just be part of the conflict, and the conflict can be endless, and and oh, yeah. and it can be. And it, yeah, I don't. Well, from what were you saying? You're saying something. Yeah, from the people. If you want to be, if you want to get better, and like you have an ache or, or a pain, mm -hmm. uh, you got to be thinking and knowing that there's a solution to solve that yeah. pain, and mm -hmm. not be like, oh, my knees, my knees, like mm -hmm. hurting me, and like this will accept that, and I'll never get better, and like yeah. instead where you could like try to learn what's going on and there's always types of exercise and things that you can do to at least try mm. because even if i think yeah. it's always better to i mean it, it makes more sense to try at least to find a solution and the the, the journey into try to solving and finding a solution will yeah. always make you closer to find a solution even even if yeah. you don't never find a solution yeah. will be always better than staying in the then accepting and and just being part of the conflict mm -hmm. and just staying on the dwell and the thing ah oh, like yeah uh, my my back hurts and it's it is what it is and like yeah. i'll never be good and like it will always hurt mm -hmm. and i'll always be frustrated about that uh, yeah. but what are you doing on a daily are you doing exercise are you have you seen professional are you seeing, yeah. looking for are you, are you do you have a proactive behavior to try to get better no yeah. uh, because It's like for, for everything is, is just this, yeah. but understanding that it's a, uh, what is the alternative? Just like it's this, it's mm. a weird concept, but uh, yeah, but it's so it's so relevant mm. to every level of, or layer of yeah. life, really. Like either you sit in that discomfort and you accept it and that's going to be your life mm -hmm. or you can say no. And yeah. maybe and like you said, maybe it won't get better. Something will get better when you mm -hmm. try, though. You try and you'll fail at one thing, but like if you have a hurt knee and you start exercising, it's going to affect your whole body. Mm -hmm. So yeah. in a positive way, mm -hmm. movement is everything. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I, I agree. It's like, instead of being trapped in that cycle and it can be hard to get out of as well when there's a lot going on in life mm -hmm. and everything feels shaky. I think that's when the whole community yeah. reaching outside of yourself and being okay with seeking help. It's hard to ask for help, but knowing that, that you don't, you can fall into a network of people mm -hmm. and be caught, you know, it doesn't have to be falling off a cliff, landing on splat, <laughs> yeah. like splat on a rock, you know, it can be yeah. into, it can be into a net or a bed of feathers with, you know, whatever mm -hmm. anal analogy, metaphor. Uh, it would be a metaphor like falling into yeah, yeah, I guess but I mean yeah yeah um, um, but yeah yeah you mm -hmm. know you can you can go and start looking mm -hmm. and start finding those little pieces of the puzzle that will yeah it will help <laughs> no totally <laughs> yeah. uh, something that uh, I like to think about also is that every we all work and like life works in cycle right for, mm -hmm. for everything yeah nature our body like mm -hmm. everything is just like you know sun moon yeah. we're awake we sleep yeah we're there's like 
um, it's everything in life, it's it's cycle. And yeah. so it's normal that in your life at some point, like you can be in a low. Yeah. And at the moment you'll be in a low, there's going to be somebody that's going to be on a high and that's yeah. going to be able to yeah. help you. Yeah. And then maybe the day after you will be on the high and then yeah. it's the, the person that helped you that's going to be on the low and that you're going to... Totally. And... and, and and it's a concept that's it's a nice concept. I mean, it's a concept that helped me to, to understand that, like, um, it's good to, yeah, to that, to, to reach out and to, yeah. to have people that can help you. Mm-hmm. Um, even if you, you feel that you can be strong as well, but understand that like, whatever you are, there's going to be a moment where yeah. you're going to be on the low and, and, but yeah, it's, it's just yeah. cycles. It is lots of cycles. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I think too, this, the whole like idea of what strength is, Mm -hmm. especially with men, like with the conditioning Mm -hmm. with men, you know, I kind of, I actually like big subject. I have big subject. (laughs) He takes us as he takes a sip of his coffee, (laughs) but like, Really, men, like the more men you see or can talk to, like you've been conditioned in a certain way a lot of the time. This is generalization, yeah. mm-hmm. obviously. It's not everyone, but to be strong and like, yeah. you know, push through it and be the strong one. And like, it's a beautiful part of men that you think differently, mm-hmm. um, but that it's okay to, to show weakness sometimes and like be vulnerable and ask for help yeah. and that it doesn't have to be on your shoulders all of the time. Um, And also for like, like also for women too. I know there's like that strong independent woman thing, Mm -hmm. which is great. And that's how I was raised and my sisters. And, Mm -hmm. um, but I don't identify as that. And I don't need to prove that um, I am capable, but I also know that I have to be able to ask for help and yeah. that's okay. And it doesn't make me weak and it doesn't make me less mm. than it. It doesn't make me anything. Independence is great, but it also has to work as like yeah. a part of something. Mm. So yeah, the strength yeah. component. It's it's a funny, which is, I think it's a very important, but I think we don't, we don't, I have like, for me personally, I have a new definition of what is, what it is to be strong and in strength. Yeah. Because it's not necessarily associated with um, what it actually is, because there's, there are plenty of things that are, that take strength to do, that are hard mm-hmm. to do. Yeah. That are not necessarily the thing that you categorize, oh, you need to be strong to do this. Right. Yeah. And what, so, what do you mean? Like, can you give an example? So by example, um, the talk about the, the vulnerability thing, yeah. um, and I've had like friends and stuff that, who, when, once I post a video where I was just like crying for, for an hour. Yeah. That um, was great though. That was But, but great. so on, on that thing. And so I had like people around like, it's great to see you vulnerable and stuff. And then I, I like, I thought about it and I'm like, <laughs> but it's to me you know it's like it's the opposite it's yeah, like what's it? gonna it's like what's gonna happen to me mm-hmm. like vulnerable so who, who's gonna tell me anything what do you have to tell me yeah like, oh, yeah when you're crying you're doing this like i know that the person that even anybody's gonna criticize me i'm gonna i'm gonna be saying mm-hmm. like it's because you see me doing this and you'd like maybe you'd like to mm-hmm. be able to do the same or do the same or like yeah or like you're triggered by the fact that now like I don't have anything to hide, mm-hmm. anything to prove. And I'm just like in a total form of freedom. Yeah. And and, yeah. and 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 it's not to me, it's not being it's like deeper than like, oh, the, the, the strong and like the vulnerability. It's like it's mm-hmm. just like it's, it's away from that. It's like mm-hmm. above of that. It's like yeah. I don't I don't judge. It's like I lost the, the judgment for the things and, and for what all the people could think. And it's just yeah. like embracing everything. And, and, and to me, that's the new, my new conception of like strength mm-hmm. and being strong is being capable, uh, of being yourself and yeah. with everything that in that's involved. And there's yeah. a lot of things involved in that. <laughs> yeah. And not only being yourself, but like truly being yourself, which mm-hmm. means communicate as your true self 
yeah. being unafraid yeah. to talk and do things as your true self, yeah. having the behavior in your life as your true self, self and not how you've been conditioned and how like people yeah. told you how you're a man and you're supposed to do this and you're a woman mm. and you're supposed to do this and supposed to do this. No, there's so many more things that are involved yeah. and we're, everybody's different and there's going to be people, whether whatever gender you are, there's going to yeah. be like to do this or this will be what resonates with them. Mm. And there's some other people that's going to resonate with them. But no, us, we want to like put us in little squares and like, you're, you have to do this, you need to do yeah. that. And then it fucks everybody up. And then we're all like... <laughs> and then you're all hiding but from the same exactly. thing. Exactly. And who... Yeah. Who, oh, yeah. You're yeah. hiding from each other yeah. because you think everyone is going to have an opinion about your life. Who cares? Like yeah. if you are in your true authentic self, people are going to come into your life. They're going to leave. Mm-hmm if it doesn't work and that's yeah. okay and that piece i think is really important oh, yeah. to know that that doesn't define you as a person it only just builds a stronger self because mm. you start to hone in and you start to funnel into really the life that is fulfilling mm-hmm. because you don't have to do anything you don't have to mm-hmm. perform you don't have to put on a certain cap for these people or you know, it's, you know, who cares Mm -hmm. if you show up as yourself in that authenticity and integrity and question yourself, like, Mm -hmm. is this for me or is this for someone else? Mm -hmm. Where am I getting my validation or my fulfillment in this is it because someone's like, Oh, look, look, you've got that blah, blah, blah. And then you're like, (laughs) Oh, you know, and yeah. everyone has a certain element of that. Or is it because you really like design mm-hmm. and you need, and you like that and that that's something that brings beauty and joy to your life. So you enjoy doing something in a certain way. Or um, like, I mean, you can go, I say design because yeah, yeah. I really love design. Mm-hmm. And so I think I get perceived sometimes mm-hmm. in, in, in judged in a certain way. Yeah. But really, it's not what makes me me. And at the end of the day... I would frizz all of everything out Mm -hmm. and I'm still, I've had to multiple times in life. You build things up, it breaks away Mm -hmm. (laughs) and you know, you have to, and then you start fresh and it's like, that's okay. Mm -hmm. That didn't take this away. Yeah. Me away. Yeah. And the people who can see that I think are, are your true people. And then life becomes, grows from there. Yeah. And you, you are your own self and peace and find peace in that. Like I think when I really boiled everything down in life, I found that peace in myself Mm -hmm. for the first time that I didn't even know I didn't have. Mm -hmm. And then when I felt that I was like, and and it comes and goes in waves, you know, Mm -hmm. life is like that. But yeah, then it's like, well, I got nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. So it just needs to feel right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) yeah um that's funny because that's going to be my next uh that's one of the next uh i have like a few video uh, prepared the next yeah. one will be like talking about uh, internal versus external and like yeah. how to find internal peace and yeah and w- how is it it's actually like the base start for mm. everything for like the best life you can yeah. possibly have and and there's a lot of, um that goes into it with uh conflict like mm. with trying to project mm. the the battle you have here and the peace you're lacking here mm-hmm. you 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 want to you want to look for you want to have it validated yeah so like you're gonna so when you're fighting through an argument for somebody it's with with somebody it's because like you're you're looking for in the external um the validation of of your internal but this mm-hmm. is an endless cycle yeah. that will never you, you'll never be settled on anything and happy on anything if you can't understand that you're you need to be content by mm-hmm. owning your opinion yeah and and not trying to have somebody trying to like uh, turn people and force yeah. the people to think the same thing yeah but it's, it's all linked also with the fact that we we're we're literally educated to look for again like uh, external guidance mm-hmm. external validation yeah and so we have to at some point um, arrive to the realization that like oh maybe 
all the answers are not necessarily into this uh, the, yeah. the, the outside of me but more inside of me mm -hmm. and if i'm like i know that who i am i know what i want mm -hmm. uh, maybe the rest of the world will like flow with me yeah instead of like i have plenty of things that i'm like unsure and plenty of insecurities and like i will yeah. i will feel like the universe is attacking me and yeah. the world is against me but no mm -hmm. it's you that's against yourself yeah um it's a pretty it's It's, a, it's it's the key for, it's the key yeah. it's like today's hack and like and yeah. people don't and like yeah. you said it starts with awareness it starts with, yes. you said it starts with uh, like have the strength to ask mm. you some question yeah um most like i le le legitimately asked myself and then you know, when i did that that first video i mean the, the last video i made uh, like yeah. what what who am i yeah and what am i exactly yeah you know because we're so much um, and i got into like rabbit hole and then <laughs> we're so much influenced yeah. by everything yeah. what is what are, are we actually you know what we i mean are so, one. so we're, we're yeah love we're, this, this, we're like, <laughs> and we're love okay we're, yeah like <laughs> we're that's that we're consciousness and and, and lights and and love but the, yeah. it's it's uh, it, who ask like most people will never ask themselves yeah. like who are you well i am like robin no like robin yeah. it's a name it's your name but yeah. in a parallel reality i could have had another name yeah right and then and, and but would you be would different? have been would have been different like that's a question that would have been different with a different <laughs> name but i can't i can't identify as just my name it's yeah. my name it's not mm -hmm. i am not the name it's yeah. my name it's like, i own the name yeah yeah like the body we say we never say i am a body but like i have a body yeah and so like what is that yeah the or rest i am of it? not a massage therapist yeah i no, work the job. as a massage yeah, therapist yeah. you can't identify with I that i love it yes. i probably have identified it as that mm -hmm. more so that i've been questioning myself about that too but or challenging myself mm -hmm. but more so than anything else in my life right But yeah, you can't, it isn't me. Because you can change, because that's the thing. You yeah. can change your job, you can change your name, you can yep. change a lot of things. And then yeah. does it mean that you're a different entity? Like, does it change? What does it change? Yeah. And what does it, because it, for the work part, this is something that like I, I ask myself a lot. And it, it's just so funny because like away was when I, mm -hmm. in my um, Instagram bio, like at some point I was like, what do I put in this? Like I've done so yeah. many different things. <laughs> yeah. like, what do I put? I, can't, yeah. I don't know what do I put. I'm not, no, I'm just a human. Like, LinkedIn, and I do things it's like, like dot, dot, dot. Yeah, like a million, a million things. <laughs> yeah. Um, but um, on the work side, what I like to do more is not identifying with your, your job title, mm -hmm. but identifying with the direction or the mission mm -hmm. that, or the service that you're doing yeah. with but like most thinking in the most uh, externally possible the most yeah. like uh, down the road possible yeah like, like what are vision. you doing yeah yeah like you're not just a, a massage therapy where where you i i you're identifying probably more at being part of a solution to help people mm -hmm. figure out something or help people yeah. getting better it's more this than just like the the title yeah. of your job totally because if you pigeonhole yourself if you put yourself in that box then you're limiting all of the growth and expansion and potential that you have within yourself like if you yeah. if you only are okay with being say an rmt mm -hmm. then say another something comes along you're gonna say oh i can't do that or no it's outside of this but why not why not step outside of that you don't know you mm -hmm. can or can't until you try yeah. and it can flow and you can create your life and maybe there's not even a position for it but you can create something new mm -hmm. and there's like so many amazing minds we were talking about that earlier but like so many amazing people mm -hmm. in the world have all these great ideas and it's like how do we just harness all of that and like crack open the box and just live outside of it so then everything can like grow and shift and i think that's happening in a lot of different ways mm -hmm. but yeah I, i do think that identification with anything like if you take everything away you still exist yeah. like you can take labels off of anything for a little while I, <laughs> i like to call it like an elimination you know how you do elimination diets with yeah. food yeah 
I, like you remove step by step things to to discover what what how you feel with removing sleep. yeah yeah so you can figure out allergies mm -hmm. or whatever well life got really heavy for a little bit mm -hmm. and things started to really like pile up and mm -hmm. i feel like i did an elimination diet of life mm -hmm. and so i just removed everything for a while mm -hmm. and spent time alone and as much as i wanted to be like interacting and everything mm -hmm. it brought it down and boiled it down to that like sense of self and peace and like you know i've lost everything mm -hmm. and i it, i've lost everything i've i've chosen to navigate life in a way that allowed me to be healthy mm -hmm. and support myself and my kids my career and my life and if i didn't take that time then i wouldn't be where i am today mm -hmm. and so I, I sold almost everything I had. Mm -hmm. I claimed bankruptcy. I had a, I was impaled um, last year on the ski hill and mm -hmm. had a very traumatic experience. And that trauma I needed to heal from. Mm -hmm. So we like you give everything away. Who cares? Mm -hmm. Like this is more important than body and mind mm -hmm. and soul. Soul's like the glue I think that mm -hmm. holds it all together. And faith, because um, when I lost faith. That was like, that was the hardest time in life. Um, and I don't even know if I knew that I had it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, and faith's different for everyone. But yeah, you get rid of all that stuff, mm -hmm. but if you're still there. Yeah. And that's the most important thing. And then you build it up again. And yeah, it, totally. yeah, so um, it, it is all there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. It's interesting, yeah, because if we take everything away from you, it's just a thing we choose to identify to, mm -hmm. but 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 also because we need we need to, um, it's like to to function, like we, it's it's normal that we we have to hang on to some things because otherwise it mm -hmm. would be complete chaos. Mm -hmm. But it's just like having the awareness that it's like. It's just to function in a society. Yes, I have a name. Yes, mm -hmm. that's my job. Yes, this and that. But like yeah. having the consciousness that it's not, that it's just this is just like labels to labels to label. Can you say that in English? A, a label, label, a label, a label. label. No, it's no. French. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, um, uh, like Marx. Um, I don't know how to say that in English. Like it, it's a. Like I would have something written on. Oh, a label. A label. label. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Like it, these are just like uh, labels to function yeah. in the society that that the system that we've created. Yeah. Um, to the to then be able to navigate, but like mm. just just understand that this is just it's just like it's just it's a just label. a la label on yeah. the thing. Yeah. Like up until I had my accident i had perfect credit i was mm -hmm. always like oh i have perfect credit rating i've worked on it since i was 18 mm -hmm. and had my thing i identified with that mm -hmm. i was like proud of it you know <laughs> yeah. i was like oh, i'm yeah. such a good girl and yeah. but then and there's like a and it's because of a label mm -hmm. there's an element of shame and guilt and um failure that i felt when when i made the choice to take time off to you know i to to claim bankruptcy mm -hmm. and then all that's it's like poof gone and i'm mm -hmm. like but i worked so hard for that and i was and then i'm like oh but then like what does that mean for me you know mm -hmm. and all that went through my head yeah. but who cares you know what the best decision the best decision i ever made was to put myself first mm -hmm. and ask for help and thank god i had help mm -hmm. i'm so blessed that way because not everyone has that and I had help, especially for my, my parents mm. financially, to mm. help me through a time frame where I had to take that time to be where I'm at mm. right now. And I had to dedicate myself yeah. and know I could get through it. But I think about the people who don't have that. And I'm like, that that's essential. Mm. Because I do think, like, truly a lot of disease in life, like ad addiction, even body ailments like come from trauma that is unresolved mm -hmm. but not everyone has the the opportunity or the backing or the like footing to have the the support in order to take time and mm -hmm. actually like properly work through it in like an accelerated rate everyone can yeah. move through it but that support element is like real i'm like how do we figure that out 
Mm-hmm. I mean, I did it at an accelerated rate, I think. But like, how do we support people better so that there's less homelessness, less addiction, mm-hmm. like all these ma- obviously major issues yeah. in the world, even illness? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think one of the thing is by spreading more like um, the good side of things by mm-hmm. just like by just uh, spreading um, love yeah uh, not on a like not on a, um, a romantic aspect of it but mm-hmm. on like the anchor uncon- what we call the unconditional love yeah because it, it's always I mean and it's something that's very hard but like sometimes to to win to win over something like it's not the um, to fight it is just by just like be present. Mm-hmm. They're, they're saying, I don't remember who said that, but like the world is a bad place. No, it's be, not because there's too much bad people, but it's yeah. because there's not enough good people that are talking. Yeah. There's, yep. Or something like this. I, yeah. you know, I don't remember who said it and this is the right thing, but it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, uh, yeah. it is literally that. So, and plenty of things are feeding out of like the conflict, the thing, and like mm-hmm. the media, and like we talk about. Uh, oh, and there's X amount of people mm-hmm. that died today, and did that thing, and there's where's like that dramatic yeah. event, and, and it, it was just... this and that. How many times in the news they say, oh, there's, but there's on the other mm-hmm. side, there's like that amount of like babies were born yeah. today, yeah. and yeah. that person did that good action, and yeah. this is, and, and this is there for all this, like these. Mm-hmm bad things that yeah there's somebody like murder somebody but there's also a million people that did some good things yeah who talks about that nobody like no no i mean i mean you know what i mean and and, and, and it was like the 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 sorry i don't want to cut you but like it was like the the, i'm um, I'm disagreeing with you i'm excited in covid (laughs) in covid like every day was like and there's x amount of death x amount of death x amount of death yeah and then when COVID was over, like there's no more more this, but like every day mm-hmm. there's like I don't know maybe like a hundred thousand people that are dying every day, and yeah. there's like pretty much the same thing of babies that are born yeah. every day. Yeah. Every day there are people who die, people and mm. baby who were born. Like this is yeah. life. This is how it is. Yeah. And it's sure that if you get up every morning and there are X amount of people that died, X amount of people that died, yeah. it's gonna make you fear, and you're gonna be like, oh, what is happening? Everybody's yeah. dying around yeah. me. But you could you could do the exact same thing with like, oh, wow, like the X amount of people that are coming in and there's mm-hmm. these people are doing that great thing. Yeah. It's, so, it's just a, a question of how, what you look at. Like yeah. you find where, where, where do you, you look at. Your, yeah. yeah, it's the whole like good wolf, bad wolf thing. Yeah. The parable yeah, yeah, yeah. about the oh, guy yeah. who's like, you, everyone has the battle of the good wolf, bad wolf. Mm-hmm. And who wins the battle? It's the wolf that you feed. Oh yeah, I love that story. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, Yeah. I love it. And it's it's so true. Where you place your, where you place your intention, Mm -hmm. the energy Mm -hmm. ends up, or energy or Mm -hmm. life starts flowing that direction. And that's it's so true. I just always wonder, like, why do people? Why do you? Why do? Why is it perpetuated all of the negativity? It, it to me is because it's a simple way to, and it's the low. So here's how I th- I see things is like the there's no there's no good or bad. It's like a low level of um, awareness on and a low level of of uh, wisdom. Yeah. Like there's there's the ladder of wisdom where at the top you're like basically. Well, we could well, we could call like Jesus Christ by example, yeah, not, yeah. not any, but like the the not Jesus Christ. Like I like the I'm 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 I really like the um, the stoicism uh, ideology, mm. uh, and like with the the wisdom, justice, courage, uh, diligence, mm-hmm. uh, in more in a in a more modern way. But like these people, like they 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 figured out like a lot of of way to live properly i think yeah but it's it, it, i see this on 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 a ladder like that and at the bottom you you don't have any wisdom and you just like no uh, big ego even if mm-hmm. you're not conscious about it you're very much like in your mm-hmm. in your head and body and you're like the world is against me and attack me and i yeah. have to like be like on the defense e- exactly and mm-hmm. there's something that happens that even if it's somebody that looks different yeah that's somebody there's um somebody that you would uh, categorize a man mm. that suddenly uh, he or she is saying now i'm a woman 
Yeah. And then you were like, this is, this yeah. is I've, I've never seen that. Like this, we can't do this. Yeah. No, because I live my life and I know that we know there's this one man <laughs> and there's a woman. And like, this is shaking what, what I've based my life on. Like, and like I know. thought like, like you, can't, you can't do this. So no, so like you can't, and, you, and yeah. you're going to persecute these, these people. And but it's, it's, it's just like, it's not that nobody is, is right or wrong. It's a low, the, the, the person that are, that are threatened by that, it's just like a low level of, Of this, of a, of a mix of, of empathy, of wisdom, of like you're gonna prioritize what you think from yeah. what it is, yeah, and like you're gonna pri prioritize what you've been told and like the rigidity of the system mm -hmm. you're living in for the sake of harmony. Yeah, you know, I, and yeah. but then I mean the, the debate is big because then I mean there's plenty of things in, a, in like as a society that like you need some kind of rigidity and like, yeah. but but the system needs to be and this is what I think like the system needs to compromise for harmony in humans because yeah. it's for us. Yeah, we, we can't. It's not you can't like say tell people you have to compromise for the system. Yeah. The system by itself is nothing. We created the system so that we can leave it. Right? Like there's no, we can't compromise and take the people yeah. and put them into the system. The system needs to evolve and grow. And mm -hmm. But but yeah, to get back into, because I, I went to all the things, to get back no, into what it. you were saying, uh, the, the, the why people are getting into the, the conflict is it's just because it's the easiest way. And it's, mm. it's, it's to me, it's just like a, a low level of, of it's not necessarily bad it's not your bad it's just mm. your low level of, of wisdom yeah and you're at you're battling yeah you're on a battle and you're not like above yeah. all these things of and you're not like accepting things and going with yeah. the flow and understanding that to win over something that mm. you, you don't agree with you just need to be and carry these values that you want to yeah. and you don't have to take these value and try to I'll put it on no. that person's mind that you need yeah. uh, acknowledge my value and like agree with me yeah. you just need to be these things yeah. and that's and all you can yeah. do I love that <laughs> oh there's so you know much I mean? in that yeah and I think a big part too is like listening mm -hmm. like not being so afraid acting out of love and openness mm -hmm. is like listening to that thing you don't understand mm -hmm. like if you don't understand something it may make you afraid because it's mm. human nature to be afraid when there's something that is unknown yeah. it's our animalistic mm -hmm. instinct but instead of feeding into that fear if you actually stand back and go well i that's okay it's not gonna he's not threatening me by having this opinion but what is it that makes him think that way how do you get there because there's a lot of people who have different opinions than you and it may stay different mm -hmm. and that's okay. But understanding why that person is where they're at and truly listening rather than trying to well, tell them, but do this, do this, or no, this is what's wrong with no one. There's nothing wrong with anyone. It's just everyone can have, well, I'm sure there's like, yeah, you know what I mean, but like having an opinion is not wrong. Yeah. And just being able to ask and being willing to ask and have enough openness and safety in yourself to ask is like, I think yeah. honestly, like the cornerstone of everything. If mm -hmm. you, if people just listened better. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like I think about all this and, and when you're articulating, like in my life, if people listened better, then there'd be way less hurt yeah and um, yeah and that's that it's yeah it's mm -hmm. i mean it's just such an interesting component of it i don't know do you that's really in my life i think what i strive to try to be mm -hmm. is someone who listens out of love and try not to act out of fear fear-based behavior mm -hmm. um because even it's been really cool because i've got the bunnies and the mm -hmm. dog and I have three big bunnies mm -hmm. one is scared acts out of fear oh, runs yeah. away the dog immediately chases oh, him yeah. and oh, wants to go cool. for it mm -hmm. and then one of them goes up and just looks at him straight in the eye and mm -hmm. will like mm -hmm. challenge him mm -hmm. and then he like sits back and backs down and the other one just kind of is mm -hmm. and they just kind of exist and they both like do mm -hmm. their little things mm -hmm. 
But I was like, it's interesting because if you act like animals mm-hmm. reflect mm-hmm. humans. Yeah. I love watching animals. I think yeah. it's the like coolest yeah. thing ever because they teach you a lot <laughs> yeah. without saying anything. Yeah. But if you if you're acting out of fear, you're going to get mm-hmm. people reflect that. It's like they sense that fear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I think, too, it's it's when you see someone in that fear based behavior, it's a lot of times it's physiological mm-hmm. and they, they are going through something really hard. Yeah. And instead of recognizing the fear, but being more conscious in your in your humanity mm-hmm. and being like they're in a fear ba- fear based behavior right now. I'm going to take a step back and ask them how they are rather than like being like, oh, well, you should do this and you should do this and you should do this and attacking them to try to make them fix themselves or be better or, you know, all they have to do, like, if you just ask them, are you all right? Yeah. Like, what's going on? And then let them, like, hold space for them. It's less fearful. You don't create more perpetual fear in their life. Yeah. And most of the time they know what they need and it's just, Mm -hmm. they feel like, yeah, that was a bit of a tangent. Yeah, that's great. That's a great, uh, I love the story. We can keep that story with the story of one dog and three rabbits. (laughs) One rabbit, stay calm. Nothing happens to him. One rabbit, (laughs) look in the eyes of the the threat. Yeah. Nothing happens to him. And one rabbit runs away. (laughs) And then, and then like, this yeah. is the one that I, but it's a great, it's a great uh, <laughs> reflection of what actually I think like in a lot of situation like uh, life is like it's a yeah it's so funny you uh, seeing this uh, it's, um, yeah it's wild I guess what you put out gets reflected back in yeah the world, maybe and totally yeah um, but taking responsibility to he- like take charge of what you need to heal in yourself. Mm-hmm and how you show up in the world but also on the other end of the spectrum also recognizing that behavior dynamic Mm -hmm. and taking responsibility for how you interact with people who are struggling and listen Mm -hmm. so that they can talk (laughs) Mm -hmm. yeah listening is a big thing Uh, Mm. and you you directly when you have a conversation with somebody that is listening to you and not just like hearing and, and then waiting for mm. uh, their turn to to talk and then just like when you truly listen to to somebody mm-hmm. um what it creates is like at least the person is kind of validated and acknowledged but not necessarily in the way that the person wants to like make you i don't want to like make you um have my opinion or like mm-hmm. try to force my opinion on you but you just you, you just like acknowledge that there's somebody in like another form of consciousness that is here and that has like different that had different life experience and, and things and that have things to say that are going to be different yeah um and just just by often just like listening to people story or whatever they have to say mm-hmm. um it gives a little bit of a uh, of sense of peace because we're mm-hmm. so much uh at battle with everything and when you're so much like when you're going to express your, an opinion mm-hmm. it's very common or easy that somebody's going to pop up out of nowhere or especially on the internet but the internet is not like an example like, well, <laughs> uh, no what you're saying is wrong is this, this 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 is that yeah. so like but just like telling your truth or whatever and have somebody that just like listens to it and not like oh no but you think like it's not like that yeah. what you're thinking is wrong yeah no it's it's just it's a different it's a different take like I, I love that that um theory i don't know if it's a theory but it's like that today's society and like where we are right now like it's just it's a it's one take of what we could have been yeah Oh, you know, that's like it's the, the, the multiverse or like the different like yeah. parallel re- realities that we we can think, yeah. and it's not like a parallel reality. It's not something, um, not in a mystical way of like, oh, in a parallel reality, I would have like blue skin or something like that. Like yeah. like re- things that that are people would like likely say, yeah, it's possible that it, it could have happened this way. You know what I mean? Yeah. And there's like so there's an infinite amount of parallel realities where the society looks like completely different yeah and you are the same maybe the same person have like the opposite opinion on 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 what you have like yeah everything could have been like different Mm -hmm. and understanding this it makes you a little bit it's a little easier to like detach from or Mm -hmm. think a little highly with a little more of uh 
um, step back from like oh you're strongly mm. op- um, like stubborn people that are like they have an opinion and it, it's this yeah. and if you have like you don't have the the same opinion than me like I don't <laughs> yeah. which is often you often see this in politics and things and yeah but but once you understand when you just like step back and relax yeah. a little bit from things they like, can understand that like, your yeah. opinion is being made mm-hmm. by your experience your yeah. unique yes. life experience yeah. somebody else you you had a, a unique and different life experience yeah. so it is it is it is extremely unlikely that we agree on everything and we have the same opinion on everything because yeah. we've had different lives so of course we have different opinions on things yeah. but just i don't know it's crazy like just just the, you can't understand that it it's really it is just, it should be the first thing like questioning yeah. and just like mm-hmm. relaxing and step back from from your thing and, and yeah. accepting first Definitely. Because when you try to fight, mm-hmm. it, 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 it's it's always there's always resistance, and that's not yeah. like we're getting back to that's that entertaining the conflict, feeding the yeah. the angry wolf, yeah, and not be part of the the solution. Because totally. it, you never win an argument, even if you're gonna have an argument with somebody that mm-hmm. two people, two stubborn people that have their own opinion, yeah, they'll have an, an argument, yeah. but like nothing's gonna be solved. No. no, but there's not the, the other person. But, right, you're right. Like after everything that you said, yes. Now <laughs> I have your opinion. Like this, this never happened. Like maybe no. they, it, it's gonna happen. Like one in a thousand conversation. Yeah. Like, but it, it's not. It's not the the the. It's not being part of the this solution. So maybe you yeah. can acknowledge it. Me, I'm like I like to conflict, and I want to be. Yeah part of a conflict and that's what I do and that's fine maybe there's some people like that there's some people that are feeding them, themselves yeah. to for in the conflict that they're li- literally like that and it's yeah. a big thing of uh, it sells like right like it gets attention like people love yeah. like the drama and, yeah. the, and the conflict so it has its part mm-hmm. but how do you but you need to to but you need to acknowledge it. It's like this be, you need yeah. to acknowledge it. what I'm doing right now. I'm not part of the solution. I'm yeah. entertaining the conflict. Yeah, and consciously make that decision then. Yeah. And enjoy it then. If that's what you enjoy yeah. and you find someone else who enjoys it, be like, mm-hmm. we're going to do this and this is going to be fine independently mm-hmm. of like, great, like greater things, mm-hmm. I guess. But yeah, yeah, I think there's a difference between conflict and confrontation as well. And that confrontation right. can have the negative connotations, but mm-hmm. conflict to me is just there to be combative. Mm-hmm. Where a confrontation, two different opposing opinions, that's okay. You're not trying to place it onto mm-hmm. each other. You're actually coming to the table, mm-hmm. respecting each other's opinions, allowing for conversation around it, which can be really fun. Like mm-hmm. I yeah. love talking mm-hmm. to people who have differing mm-hmm. views to me. Totally. And then you take little pieces out of it, but that doesn't mean that you have to believe what they believe and you don't have to be threatened in yourself if you have that security mm. in yourself. I think that threat sometimes comes from a place of of not knowing yourself. Mm. 100%. And then having to defend mm-hmm. and justify. I know I've done it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in the past. Like, mm-hmm. I'm, ever, I don't know if everyone does it. Everyone's a big statement, but like... It's back in the internal piece. It's back yeah. in that same foundation of thing but yeah yeah, yeah no but totally. like and every, and i think different people have different ways to navigate that mm-hmm. but yeah that component of like the more you know yourself i think the more open you are to accepting that other people are different have different opinions that's okay and you know that you'll just take the little pieces that mm-hmm. really fit your puzzle and then leave them to their puzzle yeah. and they're both beautiful and they both make a beautiful picture, but at the end of the day, they will never be the same. Mm-hmm. Like you're not the same. You'll, yeah. Your picture is not the same picture as my picture. Mm-hmm. But it's nice to align. Yeah. And and find those people, but I think it takes all of the people to really yeah complete everything, complete the puzzle. Yeah. Well, I think what you're saying is is really the key. If you can realize that once when, when you're when you're being triggered and, and you want to go toward the, the conflict with somebody that mm-hmm. doesn't have like your opinion, mm-hmm. it's understanding that just like the, the will of doing this, it's because you need validation. It's because here it's yeah. not solid enough. It's not settled enough. Yeah. I'm like, I have that opinion. I know why I'm yeah. secure with it. It's fine. I do not need anybody to validate it yes because this is when oh this is different that person is not validating what i think i need to fight it 
but just because I need I need to mm-hmm. see in my external like to, that I'm not yeah. crazy. I have like it's just a form of insecurity in your in your your thing. Yeah. But then sometimes it is it, it depends also like the subject and the thing because sometimes it it can involve. Um, a bigger picture when we mm-hmm. talk about like uh, the law by example or, or things that are, that are ruling a little bit of the system in which we're, we're mm-hmm. there, there's there's different degree of importance and and things that are at stakes depending on, on like yeah. I- ideology and, and and things like that but 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 generally speaking for like the common things that you're mm-hmm. going to have in your life and like the common like arguments with things mm-hmm. um whether it is in relationship or on your your workplace or like there's there's 95 percent of the the, the the conflict you're gonna have in your day to day life you can avoid it if you just understand mm-hmm. that it's okay that somebody has like a different thing yeah a different opinion a different yeah. point of view and you don't need to try to and if you if you catch yourself trying to like yeah. change your opinion it's because you need to see it out there not yeah. like that person yeah. like you can just like choose to walk away from that person that, yeah. that you, you don't have to go to the conflict <laughs> yeah. you just, but just again it's the same thing like don't fight the thing just like be the thing yeah and that and and that's gonna go on the thing it's like um i've um read something i don't remember where right? but it makes me think about that there's like the the darkness doesn't exist. It's going to sound really... The, 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 <laughs> the darkness can't exist with... Uh, darkness is just absence of light. Yeah. And so if we consider like there's darkness and then you bring like love or like um, mm-hmm. tolerance or like, acceptance and things like that, you bring more the light. And, yeah. and if you bring the light, it's just like it's going to shine on the... Yeah. The darkness is going to disappear. It's kind of the same mm-hmm. thing by just embodying... Uh, your yeah. your your ideology your, your yeah. thing it, it's it's enough like it's, yeah. it's just that that you need to do oh to, definitely to, but then generally speaking right like sometimes yeah. you you it's not saying that like um it's it's not because you're it's interesting what you're saying that with confrontation uh, um it, it's it's because you, you you sometimes you you it's just like to see a confrontation as as uh different as a as a conflict yeah right because you can we can confrontating two ideas but we yeah. will look like we won't have a, a conflict we're just like yeah. exchanging these things yeah and that's it it's just we have like a a, a vision of like the confrontation has to be like something that is yeah, like that uh, but it, it can be just like yeah changing the the vision of it mm. because uh, very often you don't you don't need to spend uh that type of energy there's um i don't know if you know do you know the the art of war it's a, a book written by a, a it's something oh, from yeah. like a few hundreds uh years before common era i don't know, like minus like 300 or 500 yeah, something before i haven't read it and so there's one I thing it's I it's it. <laughs> I don't, no but it's just no. there's just one thing that i yeah. love about that is because it's a it's um so it's a I think it's a Chinese uh, general, like a mm-hmm. military expert. So he wrote like a, uh, all all sorts of types of um, mm-hmm. some kind of like quote on or advice to be a good warrior or to win wars and stuff like that. Yeah. And, and he wrote like there's plenty. There's at least I have like at least like three or four in mind. There's one where he he wrote that guy who's like a military expert, a general, like a yeah. man. The war was his life, yeah. and he wrote the greatest victory so like not just like a cool way to win battle like yeah. the greatest victory yeah uh is the one that does not require battle yeah so, and, oh and it's God, like yeah no, but like <laughs> isn't, isn't true, it like yeah. like and, and that's the same thing we we're mm. talking about the, the level of wisdom like the guy yeah. can have like the guy is a general and at that time i guess like you were that would have been like somebody extremely powerful extremely mm-hmm. like high status so yeah. like with low wisdom high status give big ego yeah but like that guy like that that wrote this oh yeah it means like he had the humility he yeah. had like his ego control and the guy's honest like the, the, my my thing like was war but like to to the greatest victory in war is the one that does not require battles yeah. because you know that like if, if we're, it's not battle for battle it's like if i can avoid like losing life like losing mm. time losing energy losing yeah. resources 
and I can have the finality of what a war is, we want to win. Yeah. If I can have the victory without yeah. spending all the things, he was just like smart, right? It's just like, a, uh, it's just, so it beautiful. makes sense. Yeah. Uh, and it's, this is always like, I, I just, so totally. I love that. And there's a, he has got a few others where he's saying that thing, like when you can, like, don't fight, yeah. don't fight. Like, yeah, it's, um, yeah. And it's, it doesn't have to be avoidant. It yeah. can be two yeah. people coming, like we t- we're talking about. You have a problem, let's find a solution mm-hmm. without that battle piece. Like, yeah. And it's you're never going to find something that makes everyone happy. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. At the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. Like it's just, every, there's going to be discontentment in life and mm-hmm. dissatisfaction. Everyone's going to let each other down at some point. We're all yeah. human with all good intentions. <laughs> You let people down. People let you down. Mm-hmm. You can hold yourself to these rules and standards and that rigidity you were talking about. You can hold other people to those rigid standards. I think it's very important to hold boundaries, which mm-hmm. is something that I've had to learn in life. I've also had to learn that I can walk away mm-hmm. and that I'm not held to something. No. Um, but it is, it's that component of both showing up in a way that allows for that. And knowing that it's like, well, if if you're not being matched in that, it's better not to battle. Yeah. Or if you have to, like high level government and stuff, or mm-hmm. you know, there's I think realizing though that the more people that are involved, more people are gonna be dissatisfied. Yeah. And mm-hmm. holding space and grace for that as well. And and like but seeing the good parts of it and then finding where there's still gaps instead of just complaining about it or pointing fingers Mm. at it and creating that drama cycle like being like well let's talk about it and see how many minds can find a solution like maybe Mm -hmm. there maybe we can i mean i think in life too it is a there's always always is is a silly thing to say but it's the balance in life, right? Mm. If it was all just like sunshine lollipops, then we wouldn't have conversations like yeah. this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's it's important to embrace mm-hmm. the hardships, but also just try to try to keep moving up the spiral. Exactly. Yeah. And level up mm-hmm. <laughs> the yeah. best you can. Have yeah. you heard? Or, do you know uh, Leonardo da Vinci and the Golden Ratio? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah that, the, when you said that. Yeah, the, the escargot. Uh, yeah, the, sna- the, the sna- snail sna- pattern. The escargot. Right? So yeah. I'm talking French. For <laughs> Everyone so would know the, what the, that the one snails, is. The yeah. snails, yeah. And we, that we, we find that in nature and like a lot of things. Uh, and yeah. And the, there, because there's also, recently I've seen some images of um, comparison of, of same exact... Uh, patterns in nature and in uh, human bodies mm. and it was i think like a, a the brain the human brain compared to um was it like no the lungs compared to tree yeah um the human brain was compared to something and then mm. the skin to the inside of a tree yeah um, and there's a lot i mean there's a lot of repeating patterns on, on things and yeah i mean we're all made of the same things in any way yeah but um it's, uh, yeah. yeah. But yeah, you want to z- say something about the golden ratio? And, and oh, or? just that, that it's reflected in every mm-hmm. single part of life. Mm-hmm. And it just, it, it's it's that spiraling of mm-hmm. life. Oh, yeah, and yeah. DNA is, is also a spiral. Mm-hmm. Like, it, but it's yeah. not just that, even the ratio of, like, that's why Leonardo mm-hmm. da Vinci painted mm-hmm. the, um, oh my gosh, the man. The, the man vin- in the, vin- the, the circle and the square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I know it starts with a V, but it's like leaving me right now. Uh, I don't have any mind either. Venetian? I'm going to butcher it. Um, but yeah, it just realizing that we're all just a part of like one big system mm-hmm. and we do reflect every aspect of nature and, and you can, yeah, every level sort of reflects yeah. itself. And I think if you can like find more appreciation in life in all areas, because we are all a part of the same system. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's proven mathematically, well, proven mathematically, but it's reflected mathematically. It's reflected in drawings. It's reflected in the way that we are made. Yeah. It's reflected in nature. Like, and appreciate that, then it, 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 I don't know. I think it can kind of bring more or less separation, maybe. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
man. Yeah, w which is um, the paradox of that is that we we think that this I mean this comes from it's first the individual right. If mm -hmm. you have to fi find peace within yourself, that's yeah. first and foremost, mm -hmm. so that you can evolve, yeah, and not harm, yeah, the environment around you, yeah. Because people that are that are like an individual that is that went through things, take the time to uh, heal himself, was open to ask himself. Uh, mm -hmm. questions and then worked on it and then found meaning and purpose and find the own in the individual we can find so much uh, and be our own entertainment be our mm -hmm. own uh, um, force and drive and, and motivation and there's mm -hmm. there's so many uh, aspects that you can just you by yourself do and find that it's going to yeah. give you such a high sense of fulfillment already mm -hmm that then from that position you, you you'll never want to like degrade anybody like yeah. you, like somebody is like fulfilled and happy will never be mm -hmm. the conflict will never try to attack somebody you just, yeah. they're just like yeah. you, you just be and and yeah. so this is i think like that's the first thing is realizing as an individual that like you're responsible for that and, and mm -hmm. it's the first thing you should work on yeah before trying to changing anything in the world and your your external yeah. like look inward like, like, look into yourself like that's the, the yeah. really the first um first thing about it um oh definitely yeah yeah it all starts right here and mm -hmm. just being like heal and then once you feel like i mean it's always you're always going to be healing certain things but also like I got to a certain point where I was like doing so much of that. And then I was like, I'm at the point where I want to grow now. Mm -hmm. But like you can make that conscious decision and, you know, and you always have to keep up. It's always, you're always going to be moving mm -hmm. and changing yeah. and reflecting. At least I feel like I will be. I'm human and I make mistakes and, yeah. you know, that's part of being human. Um, and there's always things that can crop up that you didn't know. Mm -hmm. about yourself that you oh, can't yeah. even look at and so then that's an opportunity to heal but like really like you can keep trying to fix yourself but really yourself is the part that you want to get back to and mm -hmm. just be yourself and fix all of the conditioning <laughs> yeah <laughs> the hardest thing to do but yeah yeah no, totally yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, how do you did you um How was um, how to say that? So you you were, you were saying so how was um, wait no I want to rewind something you were saying because you were talking about um, wait it's gonna come I had no I had the question for you <laughs> um, take your time I want to get back into. Um, the 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 thing you do now so uh and get back into the how does it make you feel to do mm. every day i mean every day every time you're, you're gonna work like things that you really mm. that, it, that you really feel good about and that's aligned with like mm. yourself and, and and your mission because i think that these are important thing to talk about mm. and it's not just like you said at the beginning like um uh, just doing a job that you don't really like mm. and it's 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 absolutely terrible because it takes mm -hmm. so much of your time and mm -hmm. you're feeding into that bad wolf. Like, yeah. Yeah. like just doing it, spending eight hours a day mm -hmm. of something that is not for you, mm -hmm. you're feeding into the, the bad wolf. Yeah. So like you in your experience, how the, um, not that you were like not liking what you were doing before, or like the, the mm -hmm. photography or whatever, but it didn't fit. It didn't. It, and it didn't you, fulfill you my vision. Different. Yeah. How, how how do you feel because like it can be maybe a feeling that you can describe like how mm -hmm. do, you, yeah. do you feel on, on the daily and with um, your life that you're doing the type of work that you know work yeah sorry i didn't work a, a, like with alignment no that's okay yeah. <laughs> Is it, um i feel present mm -hmm. and i feel like i'm like time stands still sometimes mm -hmm. and um I feel content and at peace and but I think presence is the biggest mm -hmm. way that I could 
describe it because I'm not trying to get anywhere. Mm. And I'm really comfortable on my journey now where I, I, in the past, I had an urgency in life and patience. I'm patient with other people. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm patient in life. I always thought I was patient. I was like, Aaron, you're not patient. And I'm Mm -hmm. like, what are you talking about? (laughs) And then I was like, no, it's because I'm not patient in my, I wasn't patient in my journey or in my, because it was just, I wasn't on the right path. Mm It wasn't that I wasn't on the right path. I wasn't moving towards something that was true to me. And once I really recognized that and and made that shift, it's it's not nothing change isn't easy, but it is so worthwhile. And um yeah, and and it all pays off when you when you when you are doing things and make priorities in your life that align with, at the end of the day, what do I want to look like? Mm. What do I want my life to feel like? How do I picture myself at the end of the day feeling at the end of the day? And everyone everyone might be different. But for me, I want peace. Mm-hmm. I want a full life. Um, I want simplicity. I don't want drama. Mm-hmm. I want openness and kindness, um, collaboration, Mm -hmm. growth. I always like choke that (laughs) one because I I know growth comes with Mm -hmm. like growing pains, but I love, I love growth and it's a big part of my life and change. And that's just, but it can come in different ways now. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I'd say the more aligned with even the type of people I wanted, like Mm -hmm. when I took time off work, I said, I, took time off work as well um, so that I could sit and I was choosing. Mm-hmm. I kind of felt like a fish that was, or a stick being like swept downstream for a while and mm-hmm. just sort of was like, oh, yeah, because I love life and I'm like pretty much open to like a lot of things and mm-hmm. I love experiencing things. But I'm like, I've worked hard to get to the point in my life where I can choose. Mm-hmm. Like I've got choice. What do I want? And when someone asked me that question and it spun me out, Cause I was like, well, I want my kids to be happy. I want to be healthy. I like, mm-hmm. but I was like, or them to be like us to be healthy and having that. And they're like, that's not really for you. What is it that you want? Mm-hmm. And it was just, it's finding for me having, I want all of it and you can make it happen. I think the more intention you bring to your life. So if you want to have friendships that are a certain way, you need to show up in a certain way as well mm-hmm. and know your boundaries and know know what you're willing to accept in life and willing to be alone for a little bit in mm-hmm. order to have that. If you want your career to be a certain way, I want flexibility in my scheduling. I want to support people. I want a, a collaborative environment um, with kind people. I want growth. For me, I needed something where I'm moving because I am a mover. Mm-hmm. I like... I. I'm just kinetic. That's how I integrate everything mm-hmm. in life. Um, I love the emotional side of life. I like, I'm, I have the cognitive side. Like I love analyzing and piecing things together and figuring things out. And I, uh, you know, I, so for me, it was like quite a lot of puzzle pieces, but once I set that intention, I don't know why, I chose mm. massage therapy, honestly. Like, I had only had one massage in my whole oh, life. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. But I had been told that, like, by two people, actually, they're like, you'd be really great at it. And it ticked all my boxes, but mm. I didn't know, I really didn't know that it was going to open up a whole mm. world for me. But I think it's also that faith in, in the universe or God or whatever you want to mm. call it. But knowing that once I set that intention that my decisions would align with that and it truly did Mm -hmm. and um and that's kind of where the faith part comes in is trusting that um once you find your truth and really sit down with it then you you're on that path Mm -hmm. and it is fulfilling and at the end of the day i feel i mean i have my frustrations in life I'm still moving on a path. Mm -hmm. So it's like ups and downs still and ebbs and flows. But like, you know, 
I'm also yeah. more accepting of that and trusting more in myself and honing in. I'm working and investing in myself mm -hmm. and taking time to really know what it is I need in my life and moving towards that. And then, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I wouldn't, even having the, the best job in the entire world, if you're around people who don't align with you, it can take that fulfillment out of it. Mm -hmm. So find, choosing, stepping back, finding what it is that aligns with you and then going for it and being open for things that you may not have <laughs> pictured, mm -hmm. um, but trusting in that gut instinct and trusting that you know where you're at and then going for it. Like that's how I reached out to you. I didn't <laughs> know you did all this yeah. stuff. And yeah. I just saw, I thought you were just doing an awesome, inspiring post, which it was. <laughs> well, yeah. The it was, the though. On the, yeah. But if I hadn't have done, if I hadn't have been on the path that I'm on and had a, like, a set intention, mm -hmm. then I wouldn't have oh, yeah. reached out and also been in a place where I feel confident enough to reach out. That's mm -hmm. hard, too, for me sometimes. Oh, so, sure. yeah. yeah. Just had, it, it's a hard question to answer. No, no, no. It, it really it made sense. Um, oh, really, I loved what you said. The first thing you said is, uh, and it made me think about other things, <laughs> is that so doing something, when you do something with an alignment mm -hmm. with your, your true self, you have a sense of presence. Yes. And like you're in the, the present moment. And, mm -hmm. and like that's awesome because... It's true that when you're doing something you don't want, you're like thinking, oh, when is that over, right? Yeah. Like, when is it? But then you live in like an imaginary world because mm -hmm. there's no, like, there's just here and now. It's yeah. the only thing. Mm -hmm. And it's the only thing that you really ever have because even when you're like, oh, but I'll have like the future. But when we're, you're actually experiencing the future, you're, you're here now. Like, there's no, yeah. there's no other thing than the prison. And it's yeah. such a great, uh, it was such a great answer. I'm very happy with that <laughs> answer. Because, yeah. because, like, yeah, <laughs> when you're doing something that's, like, aligned to mm -hmm. who you truly are, you have that sense of, of presence. You're yeah. like, you don't want to be anywhere else. You're like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, yeah. uh, but not what I'm supposed to do because the society told me that no. this was, but with, because I know that's what yeah. I want to do mm -hmm. in that sense of presence yeah it's a, it's a yeah it's a good way to because my idea behind that was like to give point of like how it does it feel to be yeah. aligned with things mm -hmm. sensation of presence and yeah. present moment is awesome yeah and i yeah. think too like all the i mean i listen to uh, spiritual leaders mm -hmm. and self-betterment podcasts read and do yeah. all that stuff i just think it's amazing and inspiring and a lot of it is like come into the present moment and mm -hmm. focus on your breathing and all of those things help yeah and they're all amazing tools and um i think it's really it's a good way to shift you into realizing what mm -hmm. the present moment feels like it also can make shifts in your life that make you realize when you're not in the right yeah. space if you have to work really 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 hard to maintain that presence and you have all of these tools that you're using constantly to keep you there mm -hmm. maybe that's the time when when you can take a step back and go okay why why is it so hard to maintain this presence where am yeah. where am i projecting like where am i going with this why am i not trusting this part of my life why mm -hmm. am i not trusting myself here because that and that's something that's becoming very black and white in my life now and um you know, can stir up certain emotions and that, oh, yeah. I think that's a part of healing and, um, but recognizing that as well and like honing in on those things. But at work, like, like I, I, I like at work, I love it because I have to wash my hands a lot and that's my cue to find ground myself because mm -hmm. in between appointments, it's really important to like find your mm -hmm. center or yeah. I don't know all the words, yeah. but like just come back like to yourself. Back the, yeah. And yeah. give myself some space. Mm -hmm. And so I like, plant my feet into the ground and I find my posture. So like bring my belly button in towards my spine and then like push up with gravity. Cause it's mm -hmm. like a weight there mm -hmm. that we can use all the time to strengthen us. So it's mm -hmm. like stand properly, take a deep breath. And then when I wash my hands, I like feel the water mm -hmm. in my hands and I just breathe. But it's so easy to do it when, yeah. when I'm there. And it's so easy to do it when you're in a space that, 
fits like that, I guess. And But little things like that come in handy just to bring that presence into life yeah. too and start to pay attention to when you're brushing your teeth. Brush mm-hmm. your teeth and feel the toothpaste in mm-hmm. your mouth and feel the bristles on your gums and look at yourself in the mirror. Um, and yeah. instead of like running around and cooking and I have yeah. to like at home, that, yeah, but like bring yourself into everything you're doing, even you tying your shoelaces. Like I tell my kids that I'm mm-hmm. like, bring intention everything you do do it with intention and then all of a sudden your life starts to really build in a beautiful way and then you don't have to work as hard at presence mm-hmm. yeah that's great but it is practicing it right like how do you yeah. how do you find fulfillment like what it, is but I, I mean you like I, I totally like see myself also in what you're saying it, it's just uh, to me it's also like observing uh, observing life like mm-hmm. being able to, like it's really an intention, like you're saying, being able to also, I like to see it every way, just like I mm-hmm. I zoom out, like I get mm-hmm. like out of my body a little bit, yeah. and I'm like, and I'm just like, and I'm observing things. It's also because mm-hmm. a lot, I've been very introvert in, in my life, and yeah. very, never, would never really express mm-hmm. by talking like opinions and things like that yeah. i always kept everything for me yeah I was uh, the this same. is why i've been a lot into when i was younger like drawing and painting and mm-hmm. music and things because it, it allowed me to get some stuff out a little bit but mm-hmm. and so i've, I've like it, it and it's there's so many things that we see yeah and that, that is like absolutely insane like when you you think about it but we just like take for granted that it's normal and it's but when you you truly just like observe things or put the, the attention in like mm-hmm. you're looking at like a, how green like a, mm-hmm. a tree leaf can be and the thing on it and like how yeah. crazy the, the the body works by example how the mm-hmm. brain works and how mm-hmm. um, uh, like how the engine uh, of a car works how mm-hmm. like a camera works like there's so many things that when you just like bring the intention mm-hmm. that are fascinating yeah. but you need to be able to 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 step back put yourself out of the picture mm-hmm. like your ego self out of, out yeah. of the picture and just like observe mm-hmm. life and, and things like that and it's yeah. the same thing and that that gives me a big sense of like you're saying a, a like presence also mm-hmm. like doing doing that type of, of, yeah. of things uh it, it almost like uh, slows the the time and just like yeah. freeze time and and uh but what i like a lot that you're saying is the you're talking a lot about feel feel things mm-hmm. and this is like also an absolute key of things that yeah. we we no we we forgot but it's just like i think it's very related to the fact that today we have a lot of comfort mm-hmm. in our life mm-hmm. and we we stay in that comfort and it's very linear mm-hmm. and we just don't have the full spectrum of things we're supposed yeah. to feel yes. as human being and we're yeah. almost we're very like comfort and pleasure yeah. and like and entertainment and yeah. and uh and uh, and things on that side of the the, the matter because I, yeah. I like to see to visualize uh um comfort discomfort yeah good bad yeah. or like pleasure pain yeah. on, on the on the um, i don't know how you call that in okay. english on a, like in cars there's a oh meters. like a meter or a yeah. dial exactly odin <laughs> And 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 uh, of of where you where you are and like yeah. in the middle would be homeostasis by example yeah, yeah. and then you're gonna tap suddenly in in a quick pleasure and mm-hmm. oof, you're gonna get here yeah quickly but then coming back from a feeling uh, coming back from a like pleasure to homeostasis is not gonna feel good no but but doing something that might have seen like uh, direct like pain like exercising Mm -hmm. or i like a lot the to for that example the the cold immersion like ah it sucks but then you get out of that and this is uh, you start to feel good yeah by just reaching back not in the the good side not in the pleasure side but just reaching back like the, the, the middle yeah and this is why if you want to feel good you need to do things that directly is not it's not not generally speaking but like things that can be hard or, or feel yeah. painful you have to tap into this to feel good it's yeah. not like oh because we're, we're tough and we want that is because it's yeah. literally the way to mm-hmm. feel good 
Yeah. Like if, if, and it, if there's it no... doesn't have to be good or bad. Yeah. Like why why is it when you're in the water? This is actually something cool. Oh, mm. also, it's so neat how you do that with the. It's like you have a really high appreciation of your surroundings, mm-hmm. and you're you're con- like you have the intention of taking a step back and mm. appreciating mm. the world around you, and and looking and actually really seeing what life is because that appreciation component just is so so beautiful really mm-hmm. and it's it's really important yeah. and yeah so i really mm-hmm. i really love that cuz yeah i think it's a big big part of life um yeah. but yeah with the spectrums and finding that mm-hmm. equilibrium even like doing the cold plunge i mm-hmm. i realized i had a fear oh, of yeah. cold which is healthy because you don't want to freeze your hands off and like it across yeah. it like <laughs> oh yeah yeah you know yeah. Mm-hmm. but when you're safe doing cold plunge it's okay to be in there but and once you realize that that is a f- you like fighting it mm-hmm. makes it way worse and once i was like oh no i'm i'm safe mm-hmm. and take a deep breath it was just a feeling yeah. and i loved how you were like oh feel it hug you like the feel it hug around you and i was mm-hmm. like that's so what it is though so. oh sorry just... <laughs> realizing that that's it it's not a negative thing if you're safe then just embrace it and it's just a feeling mm-hmm. yeah. like just like a smell is just a smell like it's a, yeah you know but it's it's um it's 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 important to go to get the full spectrum because mm-hmm then you have no balance to understand and to appreciate just like feeling good mm-hmm. um, to me because it's literally it's just and it like, with the the latest things I mean latest things do if you reach um, it's I think it's 11 minutes of cold exposure a week mm-hmm. that's what you're supposed to do to have like and you have a big impact of uh, of like 2.5 X I think mm-hmm. uh, open your release in your your brain oh, really? throughout the day for like it spread on hours yeah uh by doing by reaching like 11 minutes a, a week uh so it's not like crazy you do I, I usually do like two minutes a day um sometimes a little more if i know that like one time i I'll, I'll, i won't stay as long yeah uh, but also like sometimes to just like i get in and i get out like it just yeah. gives me the the um but it's just it's just like feel, feeling because we're afraid of, of like uh, feeling the full spectrum of, of mm-hmm. things. Um, yeah. But it, it's just like it's just feel 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 it you, feel you, you need it to like yeah. create the, the the balance. Yeah. Um, and we have the gift of feeling it. Yeah. Like we're here to feel it. Yeah, literally. That's literally why why <laughs> we're here. I know. Is like to feel things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's but the no, but like I'm scared. But I was, <laughs> you, you're, we're all scared, but just like yeah. do it once. Like I was also like at the beginning, I was like um, I didn't like the first time I wasn't really. But <laughs> 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 but I don't like the thought of going. But I know that it's like gonna feel good. Yeah, you never really, you never really, even with the time, like you never really like ah like that that's that's awesome like the feeling it's always yeah. like a little but but then very quickly it gets mm-hmm. it gets um it gets and, and it's especially when you get out right like it starts mm-hmm. like when you get out mm-hmm. you have like a, that mix of of like plenty of things that's happening in your room yeah. like you just like you, you just feel good and, and there's for sure that like mental aspect that is like it, it just it gives you also a little bit of confidence like wow like i can do mm-hmm. Like most people would be like, that's crazy. Like every morning, like you get into zero yeah, degree water. Awesome like it's, it's crazy. That. But it, it and so it gives you like, well, oh, I can't, I can't do this. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So what else can I do that I thought was crazy and not? You yeah. know, like it, it opens doors every time you totally. do things. It's like we we're talking about like one little things yeah. start something else. It's it's like everything. Like you know, suddenly you do something. It's the fact of doing something that you were afraid of. Yeah. And you go through it. You went through it, and then mm-hmm. on the other side, you realize that. It, you're not dead. You're still mm-hmm. alive. There's some benefits, and like, okay, so what else can I do? Yeah, like it's it's um, it it's really what I like about it. But yeah, it's just perceived as negative, and that's a lot yeah. of life. Things that can be perceived as negative, but there's so many good things about the cold plunge, mm-hmm. just like other things in life. Oh yeah. 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 That's so great. 
And it also brings you out of the limp, like that stress state. Yeah. It, like when you're really highly stressed or your nervous system is high arousal, mm-hmm. then you're in the limbic brain, which is like the reptilian brain. It's a physiological change mm-hmm. in your body and immersing yourself in really cold, extreme cold water mm-hmm. flips a switch and resets your nervous system too. So if you've got a really highly stressful life, which is a reality in the world, yeah, like, but it's one of those things that can just... Like, I felt peace. Once you get Mm -hmm. past, like, the prickly feeling, Mm -hmm. then I was, like, the longer I stayed in, the longer I wanted to stay in. Mm -hmm. It was the first, like, don't go slow into the water. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Because you keep having to acclimatize. But, like, if you just and get down into the water and stay, like, after a minute, I was, like, oh, this is so peace. It's just, like, Mm -hmm. it is peace. And then you can bring that into your life. Mm Mm-hmm. Did you are you are you doing it like regularly or, or is it no, something you tried once? I've done it twice. twice. In the lake? In the lake, yeah. yeah. But I, I do want to get into a more regular regime. So I need I'm trying to just get into a better schedule mm. with everything. Yeah. Started yoga, which is also the same peaceful oh, feeling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then yeah, I need to Yeah. Get into it regularly. But I can I want to do it with some. I I need to challenge myself to do it alone. Mm, yeah. But I I kind of feel like I need someone to boss mm. me into it. Yeah. Like my friend came and visited and we did it and she's like, "Get in the water," and I was like, oh. yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. "Okay." Yeah. Oh, but, it's always better with people. That's for sure. What yeah. helps a lot is having like I have a freezer on my. There's a little a, a freezer on my yeah. my patio patio just yeah, right. just outside the door so like oh, because if awesome. every time the lake is, is it's awesome because you're in the nature and you have things mm-hmm. but like going every time yeah there, and then it can be complicated they literally you can literally get up open the door open yeah. the thing get in get out it's so done, good and it's done and, and yeah and then so it's like it limits the it removes the the constraint that that you're yeah. the, the thing that can prevent you from yeah like, your brains can try a lot to prevent you every time to <laughs> get in <laughs> even if it's good yeah but i mean but, it's all just justifications the water's right there <laughs> I, could, <laughs> I could go down to the water but i just yeah yeah it, i just, just haven't yeah it's what I was trying to say on that video is the to change the thing we are saying yeah. before we start the 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 vision of it and even even when you look at uh wim hof who created the the method yeah. he's all like he's playing music and he was always like smiling and he's all like just yeah. love and like fun and thing yeah and and that's the the thing that is missed on how i see it carried not not by the the guy who initiated me on that like he's it's got like these values but a lot of what you see on the internet like a lot mm-hmm. of like the content around that yeah it's just like oh you're gonna do discipline and it's, it's yeah. all about like just like discipline yeah and the pain and the challenge and, the, and, the and, challenge. and because this yeah. and that this is like close the door for so many people that could do it but yeah. they don't because they don't uh, identify as somebody like tough yeah, mentally exactly. tough like you don't you don't necessarily i mean yeah it's 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 yes it's discomfort but like literally like anybody could could do it mm-hmm. if you would see beyond the the, the, the just the, the pain because it's not just yeah. pain it's like the, the water is creating a, like a positive impact on, yeah. on your body it's just just that so yes yeah. it feels on the extreme yeah. of like what you the comfort yeah. you have yeah um, but it just feels hard just because we're we have a lot of comfort yeah, I, I think, I so think too. about that a lot. Is it like the way we're gonna like apprehend something or or, or experience something mm-hmm. is is just like a lot compared to what is our like regular. Yeah. Um, Definitely. You know, if you if you would sleep, let's say, every day, you would sleep on the floor with no mattress, nothing. Mm-hmm. How would it feel to just like sleep one time in a regular bed? Like it would feel, mm-hmm. it would be like so appreciative of that that yeah. night is like that's yeah. just like crazy but but you don't not because you don't because it's something that is that became like a, a habit and it's like the regular and then you expect you just it. took it for, for granted and and, and, mm-hmm. and you expected uh, but if suddenly it's taken away from you and you have to again like sleep on the ground with nothing you'll be like yeah. ah, what, is, I know. what is this it's always relative relative to to something yeah so like how you feel 
so it is it is easier for the people that uh, this is why like there's a lot of people who are a lot into like training and like uh, high level athletes and mm -hmm. they're doing this it's, it is easier for when you often like put your body through things that can be like painful and yeah. feel like yeah hard yeah but literally anybody could benefit it and 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 do it without Definitely. being like, needed to be like oh i'm a disciplined and mentally tough individual Absolutely. that's just the ego side of it yeah and i have noticed that actually because i've asked a few people and they're like oh no that's only for tough people and i'm like i'm not trying to be tough i'm actually doing it because it's gonna calm my mind oh yeah it's gonna get me out in nature and do something fun in the winter because that's yeah. always a good thing to be able to mm -hmm. get outside in winter time and do something that yeah is silly like i think it's kind of silly mm -hmm. too it's fun and silly and yeah, makes you totally. laugh and mm -hmm. makes you think like what the heck am i doing <laughs> yeah. um but and it's it's good for immune system it's good mm -hmm. for uh circulation yeah it's it's good for everything really like there's yeah. so many components of it that you could go into but it is yeah it's not it's not just for the it's for everybody yeah. and if oh, you're yeah. in a place where you're needing that shift in your life it's a good place to start because mm. all you have oh, to yeah. do is go down and do it mm -hmm. and you don't have to have any other skills yeah oh yeah you know there's nothing to do yeah mm -mm. that's the that's the, the the key is like in is you don't you just you literally just have to like like accept in and, mm -hmm. and endure and just like ac accept yeah. it like don't try to and you know it's gonna be fine like in, yeah. i mean unless you have like extreme condition because there's a few mm. there's a handful of conditions you don't want to do that but no but um, i mean don't you think that acceptance component is like that's a big part of life mm -hmm. like accepting oh, yeah. those extremes and accepting those things and mm -hmm. that's yeah it's the good practice of it yeah so it gets you it's, it's, it's like it's, you said in that mindset yeah it's an extremely good example of internally again like internal and external mm -hmm. and and to you have like suddenly an external component that's good that's disrupting yeah. your your piece that's trying to disrupt yeah. but you can you have the choice and you can yes it's it can be like you can be <gasps> what's yeah. happening like, right? or you can like feel it and just focus on breathing yeah and then finding your peace mm -hmm. and then don't you don't you and you and then you can go through it without like fighting it yeah but with just like being just like accepting the thing that mm -hmm. is flowing accepting the and feeling and embrace it yeah and it makes you yeah. feel like I, I'm, I, I like everything that is like different and like mm -hmm. i was gonna say extreme but like not necessarily extreme but i, I like everything that like makes me feel or think something different yeah like I, I just I, I just like that like even the people that do like crazy things or that have like crazy ideas of like a crazy imagination or they, they can raise mm. this question that nobody would ask and stuff like I, I just i just really just really fond of like that type of thing that is gonna mm -hmm. make me oh like what is yeah. this i guess because i'm also very curious by nature but yeah. it, it's always uh, refreshing when you you see a very extreme point of view on something, mm -hmm. but I think extreme is not the word. I'm, so I'm challenging, for. maybe. Yeah, challenging. Like the challenges. That, that is really outside of the box. Yeah, it makes you go past mm -hmm. your comfort zone. Yeah, yeah. Because what's that quote? Uh, comfort is the resting place of dreams, or something, or the graveyard mm. of dreams, or I don't mm. remember. I probably butchered that quote. But <laughs> but i've like, never heard this one i think but it's basically saying like if you continually stay comfortable then it totally restricts your ability to grow and oh, yeah. and change and evolve in life and mm -hmm. your dreams fizzle out into a little burning ember mm -hmm. um because yeah you have to keep you have to kind of keep moving and, and changing in order to reach yeah i mean you never reach anything but like maybe you just be contented or fulfillment i don't know maybe it's not the same for everybody i mean it, um it's just like i think I, I just think that it's it's what we're we're supposed to do to to i mean how how to put that is it just, so because you're talking about the fact that um if you don't go outside of your comfort zone, there's no, it's just, to, to, yeah, okay, so mm -hmm. that, this, 
that's the, the th not a theory, but like that's the thing is that um, today everything that is and it's I think the reason why, by example, like CrossFit became like a thing, and, and mm -hmm. the reason why this is is like popular as well is because today we have a very comfortable and, and mm -hmm. linear in terms of like intensity it's like yeah. it's very linear it's like most yeah. people like you 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 have a life where you you get up every morning and you when you open your eyes like you kind of know everything that's gonna mm -hmm. unfold in your day and you kind of know how you're gonna feel throughout all that and you kind of mm -hmm. and you kind of when you visualize yourself like getting back into it and like into another day mm -hmm. and it's a very like, like linear and like yeah predictable and then anything to data is like oh that shares the intensity mm -hmm. And like it's gonna be like oh, like and it's gonna like catch your attention out of that. Yeah. And it's gonna be, what the fuck is this? Mm -hmm. And I I think I really think why CrossFit like worked is is because of that. It's because suddenly like it gives you a big mm -hmm. slap of like oh, yeah. And then this is the same thing like suddenly it makes you it's like it's a snap back to like mm -hmm. oh wow like yeah. And 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 we're drawn to this because that's what we 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 want. Like are you, yeah. people are depressed when they just like don't have any meaning goal purpose and they just like day in day out yeah. without with no with mm. no intensity you just know how you're gonna feel your entire day like yeah. you don't even want to get out out of bed because everything yeah. is just unfolded like what we need is like the, the few a little percentage of like yeah. intensity in the thing and or yeah. things that we don't know how it's gonna turn out like yeah always like, leave us a little yeah and like i think too maybe like you saying that it's like having that comfort and and then having depression anxiety in that as well i wonder if it's people just not listening to like the fact that they do have a vision or they do have life goals or they do have things that they want outside of this mm -hmm. bubble that we've been shown or a formula of like a plus b equals c mm -hmm. da, 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 and following along with it but just not even being able to see that there's something outside of it too because mm -hmm. sometimes when you're in something, you don't see it. You don't even know what to look for. You don't even know what questions to ask. Mm -hmm. It's just this niggling, itching feeling mm -hmm. that you got to search for yourself and, ask, and start to ask and search for. But I, I do wonder how much is just that, yeah, comfort in staying in what you know rather than trusting. But then even the comfort of staying in what you know still creates discomfort. Mm -hmm. So would you rather stay and be uncomfortable exactly. in that and depressed mm -hmm. or would you rather take life mm -hmm. and start searching, feel discomfort sometimes, but also fulfillment with that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But totally. make, make the challenge yourself and yeah. Yeah. I think it's really, you really have to, to feel it. And, and at some point it's either, cause there, there, there are also some people who, are genuinely happy with just doing the same thing over and over yeah having the same week for years and years and years mm -hmm. and years and years with like nothing is going to change yeah and like there's going to be one week in the, the year where they're going to go in vacation it's going to be a little different and then it's back into the thing but there are people who are like legitimately like happy with that like it's something that i yeah. cannot comprehend myself like i yeah. understand it and i just i don't know from my point of view i know that i'm like oh yeah but this is because you you don't it's because you're you're addicted to comfort or something and like i would have like a, a side of me that a tendency to mm -hmm. like like don't you want to like feel something yeah. but but then also also need to accept that like it, for some people like this is how they are mm -hmm. are happy like there's some people that can be happy with just like doing the same thing and it's also because they maybe also have found mm -hmm. very early in their life um, something that is like good exactly. for them yeah and and it's not like it doesn't create enough like problem that you're going to have like a spark or, mm -hmm. or something that's going to ca catalyst, catalyst, catalyzed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Catalyst the, catalyst. the the need to catalyze the need for, for change. Yeah. Because I truly believe that whatever you're doing life, if, you, if it's really wrong for you, yeah. like you're going to have a snap back to a, a moment mm -hmm. where that's going to, life's going to like, uni the universe is going to put you into a, a situation where you're going to have to change. Mm -hmm. If it's really going bad, it's going to be so bad that you're going to be like, okay, yeah. I need to do something to change. And Definitely. if you don't have that, well, sometimes you, you yeah. it's that it's not that bad and maybe it's, it's fine. Like it is yeah. no... There's no right or wrong with that, I think, but mm -hmm. it's just me. I'm, I'm having a hard time comprehend people that are find uh, that, that have been doing the same thing for like 10, 20, 30 yeah, years. 
the same exact yeah. scene and i'm like i can't comprehend that but uh, but i yeah. i'm fine with the, the i just i almost like admire that like i'm well, like I holy shit like, i was like, like what gene am i missing mm -hmm. <laughs> where yeah you know mm -hmm. i see that too and i'm like i have a, a lot of respect for people who yeah. are you know are very happy genuinely happy and content in that because they like you said they have yeah. found that thing that fulfills them and yeah sometimes i'm like oh <laughs> yeah. but i mean there's good and bad that or yeah totally there's always the two sides of the coin with mm. any situation mm. um but yeah I, just the different ways that people are wired yeah. but it, i think it's that dissatisfaction or that lack of fulfillment that is the key component like mm -hmm. if there's the lack of fulfillment you're either gonna get a quick shove by the universe mm -hmm. <laughs> and challenged or you can start to st sit back and be like, maybe that's not the right decision. That <laughs> yeah. this might not be working for a reason. What's the reason? Okay, maybe yeah. we need to shift here. Yeah. yeah, but maybe some people do just find it right away. Yeah, I think, I mean, if, if there's one take out of that whole thing about that we just talked about, like the whole thing is, is something you, you said multiple times, it's just like, um, have the even if you're w w at whatever point you are in life, like mm -hmm. whatever feeling you have like j just have the the openness i want to say mm -hmm. to like ask yourself the question yeah like what am i doing with my time right now like yeah. who who what kind of person do i, I want to be like what is mm -hmm. something that really is fulfilling for me like mm -hmm. what do i need to change do i need to change mm -hmm. anything like just like just ask yourself some Absolutely. questions and you will you will feel mm -hmm. the answers and you will yeah. the answers will, will come to you at some point and yeah. and very often we have answers that are like ah oh, shit but like yeah. if i'm if i'm doing what i feel like am i my uh, I need to quit that job mm -hmm. or I need to um, get out of that relationship or I need to yeah. do this and that and like but we're and this is where like the conflict is going because I can't oh, yeah. I can't quit my job yeah. like for the sake of your life you can't and, yeah. and then this is where it, it's like yeah. it's, it's I mean, that's life right this is why I, I call it like a, an art because a, mm -hmm. and, and the curious art comes through the paradox of like mm -hmm. we want good but we we are so we, we don't want the good by the, the, the hard way we want the good by the easy way and, and we we're blaming things where it is actually ourselves that we need to blame it's like it, there's a whole yeah. kind of paradox into navigating to to, to the whole thing but um yeah but the first thing yeah it's 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 if you feel like there's something wrong mm -hmm. like there's questions wrong. Yeah. like put down some questions yeah who am I? Mm -hmm. What am I doing here? Do do I use my and don't wait yeah. to like that you're gonna die in three months? No. To like start uh, start living. I need to do yeah. Like don't don't wait for anything. Yeah. Like put on on a paper. Like okay, what do I, I want to do? Mm -hmm. Like and exactly. then you just like work toward that one step at a time. Yeah, and um, you know yeah don't wait till tomorrow to start living like life is fragile we uh, think that we're mm. we think that we'll live forever and maybe maybe we will i don't mm -hmm. know now with all the stuff that's <laughs> yeah. coming out but i tell you what like i think i'm on my 10th life like mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you just look around and appreciate your surroundings yeah. like there's so much abundance everywhere all the time in everyone's life mm -hmm. regardless of what you have and don't have and that appreciation and and moving to being like i'm not fulfilled here mm -hmm. but appreciating what is there and start moving on a path that yeah. that aligns with your priorities um because sometimes you do have to prioritize certain things at certain times but as long as it's moving you in that direction and and really sitting back every day and going okay how can how can i do better than yesterday and you might not mm -hmm. but at least you're asking yourself the question and every moment is a moment to get better every day is a new start you are you can be reborn in a second if you just decide you don't okay. have to if you're in a bad situation in life but it, there are situations in life that are scary mm -hmm. and extreme and very horrible and that isn't your identity 
those things are there in your life for a certain reason and you choose where that is get, what part of your story that's going to be because at the end of the day it's just a story mm-hmm. the past just was and all we have is right now and the future is just like an idea in mind and a vision that that hopefully you're putting your heart into in the best way you can but you don't know what it's going to look like Mm -hmm. and yeah I just I think a lot of time people can can really get caught up on the past and the past story and that past narrative of well no this happened and this happened or but I showed up in this way and and like like you know being really hard on yourself and and it's good to examine and move through and learn from and say, well, what lesson did I learn in this situation? Did, mm-hmm. Have I learned that a few times along the way? Mm-hmm. And also looking at your life through your lens and no one else. Like I always think of actually something that kind of made me forgive the past, accept it and move through it and, and like be like fresh. Mm-hmm. Like now I'm ready to let it go because it's almost like grieving. It's a process. Mm -hmm. Things happen and you have to move through. You can't just be like, okay, let it go and move forward. Like Mm -hmm. there's steps before the let it go. Um, And I think acceptance is a big one. Mm -hmm. But I was like, it's sort of like a prism. Like you, if you're the light shining on a prism and the prism's the past, there's a whole rainbow Mm -hmm. of perspective Mm -hmm. that you can take. So what color do you choose? Mm -hmm. Because really you can go, well, this happened, no, this happened, and this happened. It's all just there. And depending on the person who's looking at it, it may appear different. But you don't have to prove anything. You and your truth can say, okay, well, what did I learn from my story? And how can I move forward through Mm -hmm. that? And decide how you want it to look. Mm-hmm. not how you want it to look but what your truth is and and decide really not to cover anything up not to make it a purple if it's a pink you know like yeah yeah <laughs> and and just like face that fact you mm-hmm. might not like it that way but then you can move forward in yeah. in better light does that make yeah no no it make it make complete sense mm. um yeah it's a great um because what is to me it's always like what is the alternative to this anyway like it's mm-hmm. something that i always like I get back to because because w- w- you know people can say uh oh yeah it's yeah, people can to... say um well like it's 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 tiring or like why would i want to get better like i'm content to mm-hmm. um but but w- w- i mean the alternative of because like we said in the beginning like everything is cycle and the alternating mm-hmm. of not like try at least that quite often in, in your life to like get to to better things or just at least like think about how mm-hmm. i could like improve that a little bit or improve mm-hmm. that a little bit if you don't if you're not like active on on this well you're not you're not staying on the on a straight line like this yeah. doesn't exist like you're yeah. you're actually if you don't pay attention to how to better yourself like you, yeah. maybe you stay on a straight line when you're you're like I don't know, super young or whatever, but like at, at some point, like you, 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 everything is going down if you don't mm-hmm. entertain. Yeah. Um, even just like thoughts on like mm-hmm. good things on like how, how can I improve this or how can I improve that? Yeah. But just having the wheel to, um, to get better for just the, the sake of mm-hmm. having a better experience of, yeah, from your, your A to, I like to I call it like A to B, which yeah. is your, your, your life. Yeah. And like, a, if you don't but it's understanding that if you don't do this like you you're it's declining it, yeah um, absolutely and it's like you want a heartbeat in life like mm-hmm. do you want your line to be like flatlined mm-hmm. or do you want it to do right do-do? like yeah you know you, you want to feel life and mm-hmm. experience it and i do and because this is it like when the when the, your heart stops ticking we don't know what exists past there and we mm-hmm. can all theorize and I mean, yeah, but at the end of the day, like every moment is such an opportunity and it's a gift and yeah. everything around us is and it's like, are you willing to, like, are you willing to kind of disrespect the fact of life, like the fact that it is mm-hmm. a gift and like, 
and not appreciate it and and live a life where you're dissatisfied constantly and you know it's yeah it's it, like being pre- like life is a present be present mm-hmm. in in the gift of life <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know, exactly. you know yeah, yeah. but yeah. It, and it's not always easy but it, having sure. the intention sets a path and then um someone said to me which was kind of cool they're like when you come to a crossroads except um don't don't make a decision until oh shoot i'm butchering it when you're at a crossroads don't make a decision until you're on the path mm. so it's like so you have to choose you have to choose the path without tr- oh like the path you're on is your choice oh yeah, yeah. basically mm-hmm. and like accept the path you're on mm-hmm. and trust that every decision you're making every single day is leading you down the right path Mm -hmm. so instead of getting caught up in that like oh i should have i should have gone the other way it's Mm -hmm. like you're on a path you're making the best decision you can at the time Mm -hmm. with the information that you have if you're like you know and and so make a decision all the time to be better move better Mm -hmm. set intentions get more honed in on what you want in life and then it just keeps going in that direct mm-hmm. like in a direction <laughs> yeah. but i was like yeah maybe it's not as like clear cut as like one way or another <laughs> you know it just oh, is yeah. Yeah. yeah and 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 once you have you've had like um a certain amount of experience you you, you also know that even if at one point you maybe you took the, the wrong turn mm-hmm. like it, it gave you it gave you you had like a take out out of out of that that wrong yeah. thing, out of that what was the wrong path yeah and but then it built what what you're you're your today and yeah it just was it was a, mm-hmm. so you made the wrong decision it still led you here and make a different decision it's that mm-hmm. whole spiral up like it's not necessarily right or wrong yeah. decision it just is and if you don't feel good about it then change it next time I yeah know. yeah yeah I do have okay. someone yeah, coming well, I'm, I'm, for I an think appointment, we're, so, yeah. Uh, it was I really think we're... we're, we're, we're <laughs> I good. know. I don't... Yeah, I didn't check the time or whatever, but I think we're, I think we're pretty good. I didn't, oh, yeah. Well, thank you for sharing all this stuff. Yeah, no, thank you so much. Mm-hmm.